Welcome everyone for another amazing update here on this channel. We have done uh, all this musical work and also welcome everyone in the audience. We've done here this alternative compiler, LLVM ceiling work with building a system without GCC for saved space and performance and whatnot. And we made this demo test image that over the last month, maybe I started around April or something, need to check with my videos, but at least the build date was from April and released the ISO some two days ago or so. However, that ISO was a little bit unclean in terms of I started in April, hacked around on this and then had to rebuild everything because after, well, it was working, but then we built with the latest ceiling, LVM and st stuff started to segmentation fault. I had to rebuild everything again. And some of this stuff was not yet perfectly scripted. Like I had to manually mess around with it. And I could have said, okay, fine, we are done with it for the next month. But I did not really wanted to leave this in this clean, uh, in this messy, unclean state. Because if I want to motivate people to play along at home and actually work with this, then it needs to be in a slightly more clean state that people can actually reproduce it because even in the ISO image that I released, <clears throat> the compiler was not working because of missing um, compiler RT or libgcc links. So you see dedication and, um, and stuff here and time spent. I spent a couple of more nights here actually last night until one. I could have live streamed this, but it would have been totally boring and also kind of cannot live stream all my life. But what you see here is now um, a completely from scratch build. I still have a couple of to do's, but this is like 99% like cleaner than the last hack. Also, I'm curious how large the ISO image will become. The only issue is I maybe I should have actually waited a couple of more hours because um, this is not the fastest. So what I mean with that and comments in the audience, I get to them in a second. Um, you see here um, ceiling natively building in this completely from scratch, completely clean T2 build and it's not the fastest. Um, you see this, I think the build already, um, so normally on this Ryzen, the LLVM and ceiling build I think should take 10 minutes approximately, which is already long enough. And this already builds here for like 25. This also means I had here the excessive benchmark in the previous videos there below. Um, I think it's time to actually stop this build um, while we continue talking because right now this is a little bit waste of time and there you see why, why I'm waiting for this mighty new powerful AMD Ryzen SKU because last year's 2700, um, yeah, all this compilation stuff. And also there you see why does it take cool afternoons and nights because especially with these big packages if you tinker around with those. Yeah, I, by the way, we stop this now, this takes too long. Um, because if the build time is 10 or 20, 30 minutes per package, um, this uh, trial and error becomes relatively large. So what we do now is um, I did here the test of trying out if compiling LLVM ceiling, the compiler with size optimization, because when we did this with GCC, it was totally slow, um, up to over two times slower, depending on whether you share or static link the libraries. Let's just quickly change this here and rebuild this. So that would be um, optimized. So I was wondering if we use LLVM ceiling size optimization because it has two levels. It has OS for normal size optimization. That is not as penalizing performance as much as GCC and OSET that is somewhat Apple or Metro works or so a compiler from decades ago. Um, it is fair to say um, even this template based STL code that super modern stuff that LLVM ceiling is is um, is um, becoming too slow for at least high performance work for embedded. You probably can use it also only here. So let's see, do I have here? So let's rebuild the compiler while I talk to optimize this here the most. Um, 
this will take long enough unfortunately although maybe we could very theoretically you know what we do I also don't really want um, let's rebuild the cross compiler I think this should fully work let's do this here because this could maybe slightly so we rebuild um, the cross compiler's LVM ceiling or is it okay now let's not do make experiments let's just rebuild it the normal way here um, yeah because it doesn't make sense if the compiler in the system becomes so slow that it's like nearly twice as slow and rebuilding LVM ceiling takes 20-30 uh, minutes so this we also found out I can go through I'm well I would actually be really interested to post the final verdict here because the initially published ISO image was quite large. I can actually check how large it is. And then I can show you the details of why. Um, also, yeah, this we can also delete all the previously failed builds. Um, the previous ISO was, um, although it contains a little bit of minimal XORG, it is way too large, 719 megabyte. And um, that is certainly, we want something smaller. And um, the only thing is now we probably want to rebuild most of this stuff. Um, so yeah, that takes another probably two hours. While we are at it, we can do a couple of other things, including updating the Linux kernel. The reason um, why... Um, Okay, but maybe let's uh, take a look in the comments before we go here more details. Um, so the, the full summary is for if you if this live stream as usual becomes too long, even when you use ceilings, regular performance size optimization ceiling itself becomes too slow. You probably don't want to build it like this. And um, ah, also, uh, by the way, uh, the biggest <laughs> I forgot so many. You see, so if you work here for hours, um, you start to forget the details. Um, the biggest change is actually this build. The previous build, I still had bin utils into this. In this build, I also wondered, can we actually not use bin utils and only use the LLVM owns provided tools for working with this executable binary files, like not only the linker, which we had already, but also runlib, N, uh, nm, and uh, the assembler LLVM AS. So this build, the first ever also without bin utils and with a lot of polishing in there. So, and as you can imagine from how long even all the live streams are, a couple of more hours spent on this. Let's uh, take a look on the comments and then I show you more of the details. Um, so comments in the audience, as far as I understand, there is GCC and glibc and um, ceiling and Musil SC library for compiling. Um, so for the Linux kernel, some stuff. So first of all, they do not hard. They are not hard dependencies. You can use them all independently. Musil is not made for ceiling. So you can Musil is, is a C library, which is an alternative to glibc, and you can compile both with GCC. So all the people the last decade probably or seven years or how long Musil exists. All the normal people so far build Musil with GCC. And there also exist others like DietLibc and UCLibc for embedded systems. And usually, the last decade, you used GCC for that. Um, and only because if you want, I'm only mostly using Musil except T2 and all the alternatives and flexibilities. I only have to use Musil for the ceiling based build because glibc is using so many GNUisms that the code does not build with ceiling. So theoretically, it should be possible, just that they're using esoteric exceptional features that right now it does not compile. It should be possible if you either patch glibc to use more standard compliant code or extend ceiling, which certainly is a much larger task. Usually it's easier to patch specific GNU features away than working on the compiler. Working on the compiler easily can take a whole week for a feature or months, depending on how complex the feature is. Also, um, you say for compiling the Linux kernel, so actually the Linux kernel does not need any C library, so um, you do not need to just boot the Linux kernel without any user land. So the C library is only for the user land, meaning the normal end user or system level programs running in user space um, only for that and you can actually mix them right so you could theoretically have some binaries 
built with glibc or linked with glibc and some binaries linked with musl that is theoretically possible for example we have done this with dietlibc in t2 previously to keep the init rd small so we built the whole system with glibc and only some small embedded tools like embedded ls embedded sed embedded pdksh some small shell so only a couple of like five um, actually so actually udev we, we built udev twice udev static uh, or linked with dietlibc so system udev and an init rd udev um, mbutils pdksh a mini sed that um, and did i say mbutils yeah around five so this is also what people reoccurrently re do and we have done in the past also i'm increasingly getting away with this because of the complexity of um, having having to deal with a second c library um, by the way let me just quickly double check here the less of uh, that is lvm that is now using o2 yeah let's the matrix scroll by so the linux kernel you could theoretically if you don't need any program to run and only run like networking code you could theoretically oh most access points and firewalls that are linux based have nearly no programs and run my criticism on this monolithic kernel if you have an access point router firewall all your network code that could potentially have some security issues is running in kernel space and everything can crash and burn and hack your whole machine and your kernel from inside. Um, so IO, IoT DevNet, uh, I would love you explain a better Linux kernel in the, uh, explain this better as Linux kernel is dependent only to GCC. So um, you always could build the Linux kernel with other compilers. We Even we have done this already 2005 the only problem, just like glibc, the Linux kernel is was also using a lot of GCC-specific code constructs, even in 2005, but even so recently. So just the last years, for example, they added the use of assembler goto, a non-standard extension of GCC, made, making it again harder to compile the Linux kernel with another compiler. But even 2005 or 2003, or yes, yeah, so there, there has been this Intel compiler, this ICC, and probably with in T2, we probably still have some remaining code in there with a little bit of ICC, like Intel C compiler um, specific support. Theoretically, I personally nearly never used it though, but there is a little bit support glue that is, however, totally outdated and vintage. Nonetheless, in 2005 or so, people, even we, myself, friends and so, we already used the Intel C compiler to build the Linux kernel or other programs. It was possible even 15 years ago to build the Linux kernel with the ICC. However, I think Intel had to add quite some GNU extensions to their Intel C compiler. So yeah, um, this has mostly gone away. This, this was a little bit of a thing in 2005, 2007, 2009 maybe in my personal experience and stuff. Most people have stopped using the Intel C compiler. GCC was just good anyway and more open source and standard compliant and the Intel C compilers also a little bit there and pattern matching and quirks and features. Um, it is only CLang is a new compiler and the Linux kernel is so complex and is using so many special features including GNU extensions that you need a really full featured compiler and until recently this nearly only was GCC and Intel C compiler which nearly nobody used um, and it is totally new basically breaking news that Ceiling is now um, capable of compiling the Linux kernel. And it has been the last years a little bit with a lot of patches. It's just that the Linux kernel, they cleaned up the Linux kernel and also new features have been added to Ceiling, including, um, so for example, it was possible to build the Linux kernel a year or two ago, but then the Linux kernel people, you added the use of this assembler go-to stuff and then it made it again harder to build with ceiling or impossible actually. So this new feature, this is not normal C level go-tos, but assembler levy. So if you mix, basically mixing assembler um, inline assembly with go-tos, um, very special thing. So only with this feature being added just for the very latest release of ceiling, it is again possible to build a new kernel. This is also why you probably should mostly use 
standard compliant feature, the more esoteric vendor specific or yeah, vendor like GNU specific stuff you mix in there, the more difficult it is to use other, to migrate, to use other options and such. Um, comments in the audience, they know some kernel are written on the assembler like Colibri OS. Yeah, I don't like this very much. I would never do this. I also, I can write assembler. I grew up, I was, when I was like 12 or so writing x86 assembler. Um, I've written assembler for Spark, PowerPC, ARM, MIPS and worked with this and debugged this and stuff. But it's not something I find investing time the most useful thing to do. And I would like all my DOS code is also mostly assembler free, except a little bit of calling into DOS or BIOS IOCTLs. Um, when we continue with my own bare metal low level stuff, I will mostly use high level languages because, in my opinion, first of all, the Compilers optimize quite good and for the most code you don't need to optimize it as much. It's it's run once, some logic code, if then else, whatever. Um, it's not worse. There's in general a rule, uh, only optimize um, after you've done real performance analysis. Usually if you if you pre-major optimize, it's usually a waste of time and resources and con produces more bugs and stuff. So always really profile and analyze before you do micro optimizations otherwise it's actually more likely you hurt performance than you improve it so i would try to in, in my rule of thumb is avoid assembly as much as possible and only use it where you need to for example to load on x86 global local descriptor table uh, and similar stuff that you can't express in a high level high level language um, Danny writes, uh, happy to report that the boot this uh, ISO, but only after Grub2 monitor goes only after Grub2 monitor goes black. So you mean you couldn't use it? I posted um, on which machine did you use it? Um, I posted under below the video that I for testing this ISO, I tested this myself, copying it on a USB thumb drive thing here. Uh, booted for me also went black, actually Grub printed some message like couldn't find mode, something blind mode, whatever. Um, that was on Apple hardware. I posted this below the video. Uh, you will need to ins mode all video, ins mode GFX term, and then uh, I think this worked. If you do you test on Apple hardware or do you test on generic PC hardware? Um, excellent. Uh, yeah, uh, you're welcome. That is here uh, what, what we are for here. Okay, so you see how slow this builds. Probably I talked already 10 minutes. Um, maybe it would have been better to do the stream later um, and have this build completely done because if we wait now um, until everything is built here, that will probably most likely be another hour, as uh, slow as it is, unfortunately. Um, I can, however, already summarize um, what we have done here. So the biggest change previously because the usual thing is, it is not documented, right? There is usually not a read the fucking manual. This is how you build a Linux distribution, especially as we are here on the forefront of technology. Not so many people have done this. Clang only, Musil based, and even like GCC less or Binutils less. Um, there are a couple of other people working a little bit on this. But first of all, I have no time or it makes no sense for me to spend my time Googling other people's project stuff. Um, it is the same time that it takes me to do just do it. and. Um, so why should I Google for other people's works that may or may not be existing and I can just do it. So this is why all this state of the art stuff um, usually takes a while. And um, the initial build I said was a little bit unclean in, I had to hack a little bit around. One thing was around this libgcc, this GNU support library. I just need to open the window a little bit, getting a little bit warm here. Um, and so one, one thing of this I could fix uh, relatively easy. Um, that is in Clang, of course, here our quite nicely structured and readable T2 packages. So that is, um, I had here already this CMake defines Clang default, CXX standard libc, libc++ to default to the um, LLVM project, uh, C++ standard library, 
and now I found because when I did this initially, Clang wanted this lib GCC and I didn't really well the code is the code base is massive, right? So first I wanted this to work at all proof of concept, so I just zoom linked this there something from compiler RT and lib unwind and this worked for the most part. But this did had some um, like consequences like not always finding um the support library like lib uh, like ceiling built-ins for all the multiply and divide stuff and complex numbers and so on all this diff i3 and stuff fun symbols and so i read the fucking source uh, read the fucking manual actually re read the fucking source code um what in general too few people do in my opinion most people they this is also really sad, right? If you Google for some issue, most people on some forums, the forums are usually full with, have you tried this? Have you switched it off and on again? Have, have you deleted it? Have you rebuilt it? Instead of reading the freaking source. And so I read the source and um, like with grab, usually I don't read the millions of lines of code. I just grab around there for this kind of symbols and libraries. And I found relatively quickly, like quite instantly, that there are configuration switches for that. So I now configure here also with default rtlib and default unwindlib to compiler rt and lib unwind. And that solves already most of our headaches. We no longer need, need manual symlinks to libgcc, which is a GCC compiler support library. And most of the stuff actually works. By the way, fun fact, this is ceiling right? I wanted to um, check one more thing here. Lab CXX do we have? Um, probably, maybe, okay, this actually looks quite over this. Let me check if this was in LVM. So this is already the, the biggest thing. And this kind of thing you mostly don't find or not necessarily find with Googling. My recommendation always, you also learn the most, right? If you Google on forums or Google search, whatever, you only find mostly 50% some random nonsense. Just read the source, you learn the most and get the definite answer. The, de the definitive answer is always the source and not some uh, random forum stuff. Um, I just wanted to check if, if you still, because I had here some quirk, maybe I um, apparently removed it maybe already. That would be good if I removed it already. Let's see where are we here in the build. Um, yeah, 31%. Yeah, this is really slow, unfortunately. Um, you see compiler running. I really hope that, yeah, should have been, but um, I actually gave up. It was la last night at one, um, maybe the next. The, the only thing is right now, my live streaming rights are revoked on the more live stream channel, which by the way, fun fact, I could check here live on YouTube if I have an answer from Google, but probably not or Apple or here. Yeah. So, so much to you make a, co uh, you, you, um, what is the term? Um, you dispute the copyright claim stuff and nothing happens. So thank you very much, Apple, for this four minutes piece of garbage event uh, coverage. Uh, you are an amazing sucking peakbox company. Um, let's just click here anyway on go live on the more live stream. No, due to community guidelines, a copyright strike, you can currently not live stream. Thank you very much. Because the issue is this live stream is already too long and then if I live stream even at midnight some sitting on the sofa tinkering with ceiling and LVM, I have the feeling that might not be the best content. So yeah, last night I actually was stuck with another um, ceiling problem. It didn't fully bootstrap. So I the, last night at one o'clock I had already the bootstrap much more cleaned without all the manual guidance and tinkering and then ceiling didn't link. Um, and that, that was actually um, why I have here in, I only fixed this this morning, even before breakfast, so much to dedication and stuff, um, because I wanted that this build continues. This is why I did this before breakfast, um, fiddling, fiddling here some 40 minutes and only then when it finally built, um, continued on here with real life. And um, for this build, there, yeah, my life since 20 years, first thing in the morning, fix the build and then breakfast because then the build already continues to run. Um, the issue is with that is that this is really stupid that um, the build error was relatively esoteric with lots of undefined symbols of um, LLVM ceiling in the C++ library, like all the 
C++11 string stuff and such. And I actually initially thought like linking to the, the LLVM um, CXX library would not work. I, I added manually uh, dash L uh, CXX and stuff, it didn't help. And then I took a closer look and I relatively quickly figured then that it's trying to link the wrong library because we bootstrap and the stage zero is compiling the tools because we certainly need our cross compiler. So we built LLVM ceiling already once for the cross compiler and then again cross build and then boot all the rest natively, compile all the rest natively, right? So the error actually was LLVM ceiling linking in the stage zero toolchain stuff, which of course wasn't using the system glibc stuff. Um, and, and in any case, even if it would have used system usual, you should, can't, of course, not link into your system libraries. So even if it works accidentally, that is not the right thing to do and certainly doesn't work for cross builds. Again, even if it would work accidentally, as, as soon as you cross compile to PowerPC or anything else, it certainly wouldn't work. Uh, I quirked this a little bit. This is why in T2 this automated hooking stuff or wrapping stuff is quite handy. Normally in other distributions you might need to spend now an hour to really change something in those packages because what is happening is there is this LLVM um, there is this LLVM tools, for example, here you see that it's using here some native table again tool. And there is also this LLVM conf tool that is printing out all the configuration. And usually such conf tools are shell scripts and you can, even when you cross build, you can run them. That is quite handy because if it's a real program in contrast to a shell script, you can't run it in cross builds. And that's exactly what happens here, that for our cross build, the, LLV, the, the actual correct LLVM config tool printing out the libraries is unfortunately a native C++ binary, so we can't even run it. So it was using the toolchain tool, which actually would work sort of. However, the LLVM developers have done this strange decision to print out the whole path. I have no idea why they would done this. So it is printing like a user source T2, so the, the whole path of the sandbox user source T2 trunk, build, musil, tool chain, tools cross, uh, and so on, this huge pass. And if they would have just printed the library, like dash L, LLVM, um, all the LLVM libraries, it would have worked. Um, and I don't really feel like patching these tools could easily take 30 minutes or 60 minutes, just patching the source and rebuilding it. And you see the, the building takes maybe 20 minutes. Um, it is easier for me to work around such quirks here with automations and let me just, um, as this was LVM. So this is an LVM conf and we have here, uh, this should be here somewhere, but what did I even open? Uh, this is also the, also helps to run. So uh, you have seen what other distributions like maybe even Gentoo or like Debian and stuff, Red Hat, Suze, you name it, what they usually do is in their RPM spec files or similar stuff like Gentoo eBuilds, they make very sure that in the make files and, and stuff on Gentoo, you know, the CFlex, that the CFlex are set exactly how configured. However, we already 20 years ago at Rock Linux, we figured that it's a totally waste of time because it's also easy to overlook, right? Of course, many make files make use of it, but nowadays there is also CMake and Manson and other like Perl, Configure, PL and whatnot. And especially back in the day, not all make files used, make files used CFlex and um, also some make files do hard coded stuff. So we figured already 20 years ago, it's total waste of time to hunt and hand edit and hand curate all those make files to make sure that the CFlex like O2-M CPU or Arch equals core to duo or AMD Ryzen Send 2 and Ryzen 1 and 2 and, and Ice Lake and whatever um, is in there. So we have a wrapper for the compiler. And so what we do is we totally don't care about the CFlex stuff. We let the make files, whatever random stuff they want to do there. Um, because if you miss one of those, 
you will never notice, right? Until someone fights a bug and writes, my FFM pack is too slow and it's not using AVX uh, executions. And only then maybe someone manually takes a look there. So with this wrapping the compiler and transforming all those options on the fly is much more reliable and guaranteed to like nearly 100%. So probably supposedly anyway work. And what we can do with this is also transform the compiler options here. So what I do here is at the cross stage, that is this line, I add here a GCC wrapper filter that is filtering all the stuff you can put there, whatever regular Unix programs like SED, org, um, and whatever you would want to do there. So I transform here. So this, this pass here, this root toolchain pass is the whole pass to statically linked libraries that I don't even want. This is really stupid in, in my opinion. The, the ceiling people should have not, never done it like this, but whatever. And instead of spending an hour fiddling with this LLVM tool and patching it and rebuilding it, I just say, okay, whatever, let the LLVM people do whatever they want to do. And we just remove all this stuff. And so I transform this with SED. This is why it's always handy to know all the Unix stuff like SED, uh, regular expression matching and stuff. So I remove all this past stuff here and transform this here with um, saving this here in this capture everything behind lib llvm and transform this to dash l and then it works automatically because then the compiler is using the actual um, library path lookup instead of this hard-coded full path and yeah this is actually if i would have done this last night at one o'clock then i would have this build finished already by now but yeah theoretically the problem is other distributions like maybe open embedded they sometimes run um, this LLVM tool. So the another, some would argue, argue more proper way to do this would be to run the actual correct LLVM conf program. But as I said initially, this is a C++ program here. So compile to native code and when you cross compile, like similar to this, you can't run it. So what other projects like Open Embedded do is they have a QA around. So during their bootstrap process, they build a QEMU user emulation or they rely that it's already installed on the system and they would run this. So they would run this cross-compiled ceiling uh, LLVM conf tool in QEMU. However, that also has some drawbacks. First of all, you can only cross-compile then to architectures where you have QEMU support, which may not always be all. And in any case, it's super slow, right? And um, because then just running the small configuration executable may actually take 30 seconds for all the code um, uh, morphing, <laughs> um, warming up and, and tr trans code morphing all this uh, emulated binary. So not only is our method faster, although yeah, you need it, our method might need some more work of having the configuration exactly defined to actually work. However, when it works like this, it's way faster because you don't need QEMU. And additionally, you can compile to all architectures, no matter if you have a user emulation in QEMU or not. Um, yeah, these are the more uh, larger things that I've done here. Let's quickly check the comments in the audience. Um, okay, Danny, uh, the previous L. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, Linux has Musil. I know Void Linux has Musil images. Yeah, they might use GCC. I've not checked this. But the point of T2 is also um, that this T2 it's really good documentation how to really build the stuff. With my grief a little bit with all this void and whatever, or Intel clear Linux, you could build, if you desperately needed some variant, you can build all with T2, right? T2 is exactly this kind of readable code documentation, how to configure a cross compiler, how to cross compile, and how to build everything without vendor patches and exactly designed for this kind of system development environment to build your own access points, network gear, server images, desktop images, and so on. So this is a little bit 
someone is doing something here, someone is doing something there, and you see in T2 it only takes one un unsuccessful one man who keeps all of this fine stuff maintained for two decades already. So yeah, so much too. How efficient is this? And also, um, my grief a little bit right. Um, I do here, for example, P3 stuff, and then people in the audience say, hey, that is so cool, I port this now to Ubuntu. Like, yeah, first of all, good luck, but also, why port it to Ubuntu? Why not join forces here? Help me with getting more stuff working instead of spending all your months of time to get some Ubuntu working, like, yeah, seriously, whatever. Um, also, not very uh, much appreciation of the work I put into stuff like that, but uh, on top of Ubuntu probably being way too large and not being much fun on a 500, uh, on a 256 megabyte uh, memory limited P3. Um, so let's see what else do we have here. Um, also, yeah, we have lib re SSL, um, but I am still building mostly with open SSL. But you, this is also the point of T2 that you can configure it to whatever flexible stuff. Um, Need. Let's um, put those strings so I can work around this. Uh, what are you are you booting on Apple? I'm really curiously. I put this comments on the last video with this. Um, let's YouTube. Um, do you boot on Apple? I'm I'm surprised you need this. Um, I would only expect you to need this on. Um, where would I have put this? Probably on this last late night video with stuff, I guess. So, so um, late night Linux Linux development. Development. Probably, I guess, yeah, here. Um, it is on this other uh, video here, on this uh, more late night Linux development and testing here in this first comment with a link to the ISO. Um, I would have thought you only need this for Apple. Um, do you test on Apple? I'm really interested in, in that. I've not yet booted this on this amazing ThinkPad. Um, it should certainly boot here, but yeah. Um, there were a couple of more things. You might think, yeah, this sounds so simple. Uh, why does it take a whole afternoon and night? PC laptop, this is interesting. Um, didn't expect this. Yeah, then you probably maybe also need this for PCs. Yeah, the, the magic of why should this Grub2 and Linux stuff just work without manual guidance. Um, there were some more minor stuff. So beside certainly the largest po point of time I spent on this was already months ago in April and last weeks to get all those stuff compiling and patching because not even all of the stuff builds. But uh, then there are still some strange problems. Let me open here some to-do file. So um, stuff that I need, still need to do. So first of all, there is still some strange chicken and egg problem in regards to um, compiler uh, to the lib, lib CXX. So right now, first of all, all of those changes are not yet committed because still in the cleanup phase and I probably still need some option because if I commit this now, then it would not build anymore on glibc based systems. I probably need to invent some kind of option like, like GNU userland or LLVM toolchain stuff. Um, I have to do it for Windows. Do I edit config file? Or, uh, no, uh, so comments in the audience. You can just boot the ISO. You, you probably have grub on the screen, right? Then you press C for going into the command shell of grub. Then you in grub2 edit in this command shell ins mode all video and ins mode gfx term. Then you press escape to exit the command shell and then you just choose the first bootable ent entry there. That should probably, at least it worked for me. Um, so, what is really strange, and I don't really quite understand, so lib, uh, lib, uh, standard, standard CXX still has some circular dependencies, so if you try to build it, it will not build, because um, standard CXX also wants the standard CXX ABI, and I have no idea why. So, I think the order to build this um, is First, you need after after a cross compiler, and again, I still need to fill all the details in T2. First, you probably need compiler RT um, for all the support libraries, multiplication stuff. Then, I think actually, yeah, the un, this is really unintuitive. I would think you would need standard CXX ABI, 
because it sounds like the application binary interface, it, it sounds from the name intuitively you would need that next or first, but know that according to my trial and error and reading the source and research, you need first, because again, if you just build, so if you build standard CXX ABI, it will not build because it needs a C++ SDL already, at least on my testing. So first you need to build standard CXX, the so STL C++ library of LLVM without the ABI. So if you just build this, this also doesn't build. So if you just try to build any, nothing will build. And I found you could surprisingly build lib standard CXX without the ABI, whatever bizarre setup that is, but you need to explicitly tell it not to use the CXX ABI. It's, it's crazy anyway, whatever. Then you still can't build lib standard CXX ABI. You, you first need also lib unwind, and then you can finally build lib standard CXX ABI. The only thing I have not yet figured out I need to test, there you see testing, testing, research, and more testing. I have not yet tested, so this works. Um, however, right now I have rebuilt standard CXX with the ABI then after that. And I still need to test if this is really necessary, what the changes, and uh, so on. Then we also need to still add some code because normally if you build GCC, we zim link it to CC, but more importantly, also normally you have bin utils with all the linker and assembler and stuff. And right now, the only other manual edit I've done, and we need to still add code with most likely a config option. Because again, normally you would have bin utils in a more normal classic system. So what I've done manually and again need to automate for the special config is zim linking all the uh, LLVM binary tools like LLVM AS, the assembler, the linker, the LLD, and all, all the other stuff like LLVM runlib, LLVM NM, link this to the system wide usually used AS, NM, uh, and runlib, for example. Um, this I need to, this is totally small, but yeah, whatever first I wanted to get this. I, I was actually not sure if this would actually work build. I'm actually surprised that now after all my work and setup here that now it's becoming much smoother and settling down here. Um, what else do we have here? So symlink for all right the only yeah there is still I don't like the compiler RT installs into user lib even though we are on a lib 64 bit system the compiler RT anyway installs to user lib and the the parse is a little bit yeah not the greatest fan and also Clang doesn't find it there, so there is still some. I manually made the zim link there for now, as well. But that is the next thing. So you, see, but we are getting there. So I think it's probably 99% done, um, and only the last zim link and config option and cleanup. So that would be Musil again on T2. This is in this nice readable ASCII files here. That would be compiler RT, and the passes. Yes, this. This is really a little bit non-standard and near. Um, we at least, but maybe actually, wait a second, maybe we can test this here live on YouTube. Maybe we can just add there some, maybe this would automatically just work if we change this to, let's see, where would that be? Maybe ceiling. Maybe we have here some suffix. Here, here's some LLVM Liptius suffix. Let's see if we have this already in compiler RT. And okay, but we have this already. So apparently we supply this already, but compiler keeps so much to doing this on, on YouTube. Yeah. Um, this is probably, yeah, we, the live stream is already super long. And this is still compiling. How many minutes are we in? 45 minutes. Yeah, how long, how, how slow, why is this a thing? Um, yeah, it is for the most part of this video, 40 minutes so slow it becomes with size optimizations. That is really crazy slow in my opinion. And the sad thing is that um, we also need to rebuild uh, ceiling after this. Um, 
Let's see more comments of the audience. Uh, Linux console output you need ins mod all video ins mod teach me where I so I said this when I do ins mod all video it arrows it. Uh, what said work for me though that is funny. Hmm. Maybe I try after the live stream. I anyway need to most likely I need this portable SSD to recover my broken uh, Catalina installation. Um, who cares writes on his PC multi-lib for x86 build takes about two hours. Do you mean of T2 or some other distribution? And what kind of CPU is this? Um, maybe best always post with a couple of more details then, but it's also fun for me to ask, but then I wouldn't need to ask. Um, did you in small or video? So is this probably, let me check, um, or is it with underscore? What did I type here? Output all video, how it's all video. Well, for me it was fun, so then maybe I test this. Gen 2, yeah, okay, but I mean, um, i5 something, don't really quite what, um, but so you also need to differentiate is this a total, so what do you load with this? Um, so you say bootstrap, right? So the thing is, of course, it's totally comparing apples and oranges, right? Um, do you load some stage for that? What what kind of stage do you build? Or do you mean building a stage from scratch? Um, so yeah, so many variables. And again, I made this video already, we already know, or we already knew that this LLVM ceiling is totally slow with size optimization. I just was curious and wanted to give the ceiling size optimization one last try, but yeah, the verdict is totally slow piece of unusable garbage, unfortunately. Um, and yeah, how large, but this is also a couple of things, right? How large has source become? LLVM ceiling is also just a massive pro project, obviously. And um, second of all, uh, the compilers also get slower. And if you do not optimize them the most, then yeah, they're apparently um, a little bit smaller, uh, a little bit slow, unfortunately. Um, are you using multi-thread switch for compiling? Yeah, of course I load all the 16 threads that we have here. We are not noobs here. You see 16 nice ceilings. But um, again, this was an experiment. I can't stress it enough. This is just the fault or limitation or whatsoever of size optimization. Again, plenty of videos, plenty of benchmarks if you're interested in this, but long story short, 15 years ago it often was favorable. Nowadays with this massive C++ code base, I realized the super modern code doesn't like it very much. Uh, all the inlining stuff and template stuff needs to be more optimized otherwise. Also in previous times GCC was C, right? And even if some C++ code was not the most fast, you did, did not necessarily notice that quickly because if you were running GNOME, then your Linux kernel is C, your C library is C, all your support libraries are C, all your desktop environment is C, all your X, X11, Xorg windowing server is C, and the only C++ you might be running might be Firefox, unless you run KDE, then everything is C except your K desktop environment. And um, yeah, well, uh, yeah. What, ah, you mean what, you mean, you mean bootstrapping LLVM? So you mean it takes two hours to just build LLVM? Because I'm building here. Um, so just just building LLVM for me takes only 10 minutes usually. Um, ah, so, okay, so on this Ryzen, this is of course bootstrapping and bootstrapping. When I say bootstrapping, I mean cross compiling my whole base system, right? That usually takes maybe two or four hours. But um, so again, um, just compiling LLVM Okay, but you mean maybe LLVM and ceiling. So just building, again, on this Ryzen 2700 from last year, just building LLVM on T2, optimized without stupid size. So 10 minutes for LLVM, 10 minutes for ceiling, just that right now it is um, 
right now it is size optimized and yeah again i only we knew this already made this previous videos you see how long is ceiling running and thinking about this stuff here up to a minute per file that is certainly not amazing and they yeah, should have um built this earlier but this is what we have coffee probably in the meantime after 45 minutes live streaming i need to bring the coffee to the microwave so we could actually um live stream building the rest of the system just for the fun of it um yeah rust is um one thing that we are only mildly well again rust as a language uh, pretty neat rust rust as an ecosystem for me not the most amazing due to cargo and whatnot and using the pre-existing binary um yeah who, who cares there writes compiling it twice um in multi-lib we do not build all things twice by the way as this is a little bit wasteful in my opinion for most multi-lib stuff you don't need to have everything twice we have multi-lib support but only for the most part well we, we always were thinking to maybe extend multi-lib support to have a generic option to build everything twice but again i nearly never need this you probably only need this for binary only stuff like wine probably is like the 99 percent use case um yeah rust stuff we also made pretty many videos well we could continue uh, working here live on this stuff which by the way we could have um, uh, here a new of those fun terminals so we have also other stuff to do so only live on this channel let's see there is a new point release of the linux kernel so we can also update this while we wait there let's see is there another stable release before we do that and actually maybe there is seriously are you kidding me even where are we let's just run up here first yeah so only live on this channel live linux distribution development never can do enough of this fun stuff let's see where are we here in terms of linux kernel to uh, 5 to 5 to 16 is already packaged then let's update to 17 apparently that also exists maybe a recurring hobby here of ours fanfic do i have a no i don't and then we actually can also update to 531 i usually update in t2 only after the first point release because regressions and fast fun stuff ah, not linux org Linux were only Linux site points somewhere else. So how many stuff did we revert this stable time? Hey, of course something reverted ARM 64 removed unnecessary ISBs from set. Uh, is this the only one? Hey, only one revert. Amazing how many changes are this anyway in this monolithic Linux kernel release? Yeah, as usual. So many bugs apparently that uh, you get the idea what is new in the first other stable release stuff here do we also yes the same arm 64 release a revert and otherwise yeah not as much but just some yeah let's update to that here only live on this channel um let's commit this with our testing because because we are professionals um, also without this desk so commit package linux so 17 and then what we test more is 5.3 that we need to manual tweak a little bit what is our build tuning here 66 percent um yeah and again why you probably want to over optimize your llvm ceiling uh, we have quite some comments at least the last time i checked certain people um so to do more, something well the only thing is now the stupid build takes forever we could just chat here and wait for that or something and let me just quickly tweak here this Linux stuff for five point three point one and 
Yeah, so discussing some more advanced features, let's see, do we have comments in the audience, cell broadband engine architecture, and press this thing. what do you mean with LOL cell broadband engine architecture? Um, so in regards to config options, as we could, so the question, there are a couple of questions. First of all, we could very theoretically, um, because size optimization for classic C code may be most likely still often similar performant. So theoretically, we could actually make two optimization options in T2. Right now we have only one. We could theoretically have optimization level for C and C++. And this would already solve part of this problem. We could still build all the C code with OS. And well, if you want it right, it's it's flexible choice anyway. Um, and advanced C++ code with, uh, with o, uh, O2 or something. And um, another option, actually, what we have, a fun fact, we have a really esoteric feature that even I didn't use the last 50 years. I think, as far as I remember, our creator of Rock Linux, uh, Rock Linux Clifford Wolf, implemented this 15 years ago, um, which is smart optimization. What this is doing, and so the, the feature still exists, I was considering to maybe delete it in our source tree, but it's still there. And what this is doing is the smart optimization because Again, 15 years ago, we figured size optimization often is similar fast, if not sometimes faster, at least, at least 15 years ago when the CPUs were not as performant as they are today, as massive cache uh, level infrastructure. So what the smart optimization did is you would profile your system. Like right now, we would have sys who, uh, like O-Profile or some other modern stuff, whole system-wide profiling running and gather what kind of code passes with the X windowing system, with OBS, with libx11, with ffmpeg, with all the other Linux kernel fun stuff, which code passes actually are usually used. And this, we have a script to determine and compile a text database file um, with this um, like more used code fragments and this is I think here in scripts is it yeah smart db however this is not all updated for a very long time as I said we have not I have not I've I've like Lorali used this and how this is implemented is so um, so we now knew that for example in Python the file C well C so all, all, so this is this is uh, bit rotten, right? So this is from, from 15 years ago. Or for example, in GCC, um, actually, uh, GCC like C as elib on bash the file shell C on in glibc the file string copy and malloc and bin utils hash tab and stuff. So you would, op and this is by the way uh, quite clever, right? So you optimize the 90% of your code, you optimize for size because it's rarely run anyway. And only the hot code passes you optimize for um, speed or whatever. So basically, this is some whole system profiler guided optimization on on a per file level. Um, and uh, yeah, actually, this is actually this database is maybe not the question. Why do I mention this? Not not only what kind of amazing invention, small couple of people projects. Um, did and few people knew about would you be interested in this kind of stuff um, the only thing is how this works is you need to build your whole system with debug symbols unfortunately on, on a reference machine like mine or yours or whoever need to run this with O profile and then update the smart optimization database um, maybe I will just do it so I, the downside is always as you see even I myself have not used this esoteric feature now with YouTube. It's maybe dedicated versus dedicated video of amazing whole system, like kind of profile guided optimization. Um, what do you think? Is it worth to invest this time and YouTube video in that? Um, or yeah, I don't know. Um, So you mean it needs an underscore, right? Um, Danny writes he found the problem with this insmod all video. 
um, instead of oh, so gfx term so you mean it needs just one underscore missing right yeah I like it with uh, code will like branching algo would be nice um, code will like branching algo would be nice don't quite what was that about um, yeah, a little bit of pity that this year 30, 33 year uh, this build is unfortunately running forever. Um, but you see always something to do like updating the Linux kernel. Um, like here, let's maybe also also so this is the same machine. Let's maybe start a test build here. Um, also, this is the same um, same Ryzen computing node here. But whatever, maybe we don't compile the Linux kernel in full. I tested already Linux 5. We test booted with LLVM ceiling. Um, so I will probably not compile this in full here because it slows down our ceiling, LLVM ceiling rebuild. And I, I want a faster compiler ASAP. Let's just see if uh, also this warnings I tackle this are. And there you see the, the best minds. This even I have not written this. Maybe Clifford Wolf has written this wrapper stuff also 15 years ago and yeah the brightest minds after a couple of years the compiler starts to run so these warnings are new from latest GCC just the last years and now GCC things writing in this S and print this is why recurring theme here we should just get rid of all the C string handling stuff um, not only for the Linux kernel and all the other browser fun stuff but even you see even the brightest minds in the industry after a decade the compiler starts to warn hey maybe this is clobbering one or two bytes too many. Um, yeah, see. Um, yeah, not the most important for me. This is why. But soon I will take a look. Some, soon, sometime between now and forever, and get the idea. So, what if I have done a native build that would be var adm log linux? Let's. Yeah, the patch is already applied. Um, most likely, again, 5.3 I compiled, so I most likely, as we are professionals, just commit this without testing because, yeah, whatever. Even if it builds, certainly, again, 5.3 I tested, even if it builds uh, breaks later, um, we can, we need, we can just fix it later anyway. Just a little bit sad that my coffee is cold now. Let's just see, this is still the configure stuff. Um, and you see also how long massive code bases and stuff, even the configure here runs for quite some time. Yes, if you see, it's still configure our T2 all modular kernel config generation stuff. And um, what do we have? Come on, come on, you can do it. Yeah, this machine is slightly busy, as you see. I'm so looking forward to hopefully faster compiler, though. Yeah. Um, so load actually we can uh, can we please come to the point of compiling the Linux kernel also the load actually really high right now right so this is um, yeah, you can also not the mechanical keyboard here so you see a lot of CPU time used by the virtual machine plus the native compilation stuff um, yeah you name it how can this stuff Take so long. Did I maybe this is also maybe with our temp of S and then it's uh, I always becoming a little bit of a bottleneck on this. I know it's temp of S, then I also don't have an explanation why it's that slow. So cleaning kernel, hello. Hmm. You get the idea. Here you see there's always something to do next we while we wait here already um, yeah starts to compile so it's not entirely broken uh, which compiler is this even using this is using I oh know this is using ceiling actually let's just compile it so hereby with this live stream only live on this channel we oops update from the last stable series to the new one and um, yeah let's see oh I saw my URL in Phoenix was filtered out URL to what 
Um, did you post welcome, by the way? Wait a second, repair stream. No, we are, we should be online according to only 100. What do you mean, stream? Welcome. Um, PGO. The stream strip for me had to refresh page. Hmm, interesting. Um, does not really look like a direct issue from my side. Let's see. The wireless wife uh, firmware does not yet have crashed, uh, which UL was filtered out. That is always interesting. I update here in the meantime also the YouTube comment here only live on YouTube also. So they didn't pay for that advertisement anyway, or maybe they did anyway. So um, all video needs an underscore, then we do that here. Also web stuff in 2019, right? If I added a comment, the, the comment was pinned, although there's no other comment, but whatever. And this, why does editing a YouTube comment unpin it? So I need to pin it again. This is also slightly hilarious, right? Um, I, I wonder if there are always so many low hanging, small usability fruits that nobody is implementing there in the almighty. Silicon Valley. So, yeah, um, benchmark on Pharonix, benchmark on, wait a second, what do you mean? Um, my URL to, ah, you mean here, can you repost the URL? Um, I didn't see it, I certainly can, could approve it if I would see it though. What else do we have? Um, although, yeah, this, this would not be like profile guided optimization that would mostly be, um, it's, not, it's not like real profile guided, this is just like whole system size versus speed optimization. Um, very theoretically, of course, we could add a generic profile guided optimization pass, but that would mean like totally expanding, like exploding the build time by running the build and test suite of packages to generate the profile guided feedback. The plus side of this, T2 or Rock Linux based smart DB optimization stuff is that it's for those people playing along at home, it is like free because it's just a lookup of a, a per file lookup um, running the compiler and each time the compiler is run and our compiler wrapper intercepts the compiler invocation and transforms the arguments, it looks up into the text file and sees this package, this file, OS or um, more optimization. Um, well, you only want to run PGO on release as a distributor. Yeah, something like that. However, it needs to be tested, right? If nobody is testing it, then like this, you get all the fails. Um, yeah, also speaking about fails, how long is this even going? So for the better part of the live stream, this is building. Also, fun fact, maybe we um, SVN up here because then we, we, I will definitely spin a new ISO of this because this build is so much cleaner. And then we have already um, the very latest Linux kernel in there, which by the way, we can also download here already in the, oops, so salt minus, pre-download this already while we wait for this build, so yeah. Um, it appears the URL got filtered again, but the article is linked, fresh look at PGO performance. How can this be filtered like this? Um, it's hilarious. Yeah, web, web in 2019. So I have no blocking like this, right? So I'm not an uh, evil dictator here censoring that away. Let me, I will even voluntarily Google that and wait a second. If I fresh look at PGO, then, uh, okay, this is cut and pasted. Can we fresh look? So that would be that one. Copy link address. Let's see if I can post it myself in my own chat here. Hey, I can apparently, this link, I guess. Um, yeah, from July, so benchmark, PGO, stream stopped. So, yeah, the, um, not too many, 119 drop frames. We are still waiting in the, so we, again, we could do quite some stuff. Um, why have I not implemented all the other stuff here that I noted down in the to do, oops, in the to do, not t2, to do. Um, yeah, some zoom links, and so the zoom links depend on some compile option. Um, also, yeah, we need to sort some, 
uh, for some really strange reason, this table again executable of ceiling required setlib and incursor. So I need to shuffle the dependency dependencies a little bit around. So I manually, so this is a total small thing. I manually built um, setlib and incursors quickly. But so what is uh, what is left here? It's yeah, actually, what is left? Not so much, and then all the changes. Scroll by. What is even in here in that one? I wonder. Ah, I this probably I can revert. I only for debugging I added s try that we can revert actually. Um, what is what did I change in that one though? Uh, I generically removed that for some reason. Interesting. Yeah, we actually wait a second. This is some. Um, the whole thing should be changed. Not really quite sure. Okay, this is not really, not really sure why I have this in this virtual machine. So. Yeah, darn, is it slow? Can't make this up. I'm looking forward to the new ISO here. Um, the reason I, I'm also looking forward to spin this ISO is to have motivate more people to use this. And um, I would really love it to switch to the Musil based system. Um, I was also, so the thing is, do you want me to continue? I mean, the fun thing is we have 13 people, which is 14 people. Thanks for all for tuning in. Very theoretically, if you desperately want to see me sitting here and working on stuff, um, we could do this, just not really sure if, mm, if it's too boring. Um, the next thing is I tried on, actually, I have this Musil, the previous hacky based Musil system I have on a partition here on, on this ThinkPad. Um, What's stopping me? Normally, I am. I do not need much. Um, I only need, well, for some part, a virtual console, a text console of the Linux kernel, and otherwise, um, X is nice, and then an RxVT Unicode stuff with X Emacs and so on. The only thing is, with this fancy YouTube content, I, of course, need not only OBS but certainly a browser. Otherwise, I can't operate this because. I could even get away with not having a browser on a secondary machine for a while and only look up stuff on on another machine. But um, with OBS live streaming here, certainly that's not very usable. So compiling a browser on this Musil ceiling based system like, like Rust and stuff like, yeah, somehow, mm, whatever. Uh, already getting headache now just thinking about this. It makes sense, usually only broadcasters and mods can post. No, well, I think um, other people posted URLs before, and what is strange, uh, the graver is that I even often approved links, so I have no idea. Maybe YouTube, I don't know what they are blocking here actually, because usually sometimes I get here awaits model moderator. This is also why I made detard mod, unless I should also make you mod though, uh, if you want to become mod. Out of habit, I've been building new GCC from source. GCC 10 is this a out of habit? I've been building new GCC from source. GCC 10 is this a bad practice? Asks old school. Well, it depends what you have done on T2, on Gen 2, with scripts or manually. Um, always difficult to answer. Uh, the funny thing is, you write a short one sentence, a one liner, and I wonder what you were thinking. And obviously, so people who passed a one post a one-liner know what they are thinking but there you see how much context can be missing when I'm wondering what do you mean by that um, how fast is your internet connection over there is how fast what over there in Papua New Guinea the stream is quite smooth good job yeah thank you um, I'm not in the office as you probably might have guessed from the scenery, not the office scenery. Um, this is not even my internet. <laughs> yes, this, this internet is quite good and since last week it has IPv6, amazing stuff. Um, but yeah, good job. Uh, internet in Europe is getting better. In the office, uh, even in the office we have, what do we even have now? 400 Mbit down and 
50 Mbit up, but even in the office we have hiccups, the stupid cable docks and stuff. Um, sometimes we have massive dropped frames, sometimes not. But yeah, uh, good job uh, YouTube for getting this to people in the world. That is, of course, that part is quite amazing. Um, yeah, this is really... Um, yeah, the issue is that this was native maybe. Actually, it would have been faster, but now we are mostly done. I only worry if... I would think LLVM is the larger part of that, although I think usually LLVM and ceiling both take 10 minutes, but we are still only at 90%. This is slow, so extreme slow, it's really slightly annoying. Um, we could actually, so um, you could actually vote comments in the audience right now. I still have theoretically to answer this. So GCC from source to answer, answer your question, although I'm still not sure what you meant with that. Um, I personally find nothing wrong to build GCC from source. I don't, so manual, manually, I, I don't prefer to do it. I, I would never do it manually. Like I only do it automated here in, in T2 because then you don't make mistakes. Our um, old school is using Windows 10 like to build applications to be portable between Linux and Windows as Windows Docker is his poison. Sorry, wasn't here. I had lunch. Okay, welcome back. Um, okay, so you, you mean you build GCC manually on Windows? Um, that is... Will you put the ISO on Git? No, we are not using GitHub, we are using our hosting our own sources. I will put it on our download server, like old fashioned download t2 sde org slash binary slash 2019. Um, and it would be really cool. Um, maybe I will actually, I will probably post a link below this video and you probably need to add a couple of Zim links, like Zim linking C-Link to CC and LLD to LD and like this probably five, six, seven some links I will post on this video because I will most likely not yet um, change the T2 packages to do that. Um, so theoretically you can vote. I think by the way this was a fun fact our automated nightly tracker. It's by the way where is my red phone is not here. Um, you could uh, vote now. Do you want the stream to continue? Seeing me suffer doing some work. Or should we end this live stream here and I should... Well, this is the problem is that this is as slow as this is. Yeah, you see you size optimize something and then you regret it already waiting here. One hour. How long is the live stream? Certainly one hour. Yeah, one hour, 17, 10 minutes. How can this be that slow? Um, yeah, the problem is I could live stream here in all afternoon doing Linux work. The only problem is I have the feeling not the most people want to watch that. But um, yeah, there you see how much time that takes. I think surprisingly this was the only update our automated update tracker identified this night. Um, what is in this M4 though? What have I done there? Oh no, LTO, is that really? Uh, fun fact, another fun fact, I, the other image was mostly built with LTO. I will probably switch LTO on link time optimization just for the fun of it. Um, the only reason I have this off is because um, you will not believe that running link time optimization, I've done this, um, although maybe on the size optimized build, you will not believe that the link time optimization has run on this Ryzen 2700 from last year, which again is pretty fast, right? It was running a whole whopping hour, not making this up, even posted this on Twitter. This is why I built the bootstrapping without LTO just to get this build done. But um, you see, yeah, um, very theoretically, I also wonder if I could add an option, but there you see how many options do you want to add because I already mark packages non, no LTO if they do not link time optimize right now. That might be because I um, can also show you which packages that are. Grab no LTO package, all of them. 
And there you see how nice a deck documentation T2 is, right? Uh, human readable stuff and also best with all typo. So this package is right now, this might be stuff like running an M and uh, by the way, some of those packages might even build with LTO if you use other tools that might be due to bin utils, right? Maybe now with LLVM native tools like LLVM NM and stuff because some of those packages simply um, try to extract symbols. They, so they, they build something, they link something and then they for metadata, XML, funny stuff, um, run this again. So I wonder maybe this M4, we could actually, this still builds, right? So why this is this building? Like we could actually switch this on, usual. Of course, don't do this while building config editing at home. Let's M4, let's remove that here. This is not yet con committed and maybe it builds. And sometimes I, sometimes it doesn't build. That was M4. Let's see if that builds. And um, optimization is preferred with C++ and Fortran enabled. Right, uh, so comments in the audience. This is not building on the ThinkPad. This is building on the Ryzen in the office. Um, let's see, we have to rise, so mod probe, IT7 sensors. So the CPUs, the K10 temp CPU, 62 degree motherboard sensors, 54, 35, 54, not looking too bad. Um, I don't think this is thermal throttling at that path here though. Um, on the sync, but certainly that, especially with OBS live streams, it would take much longer anyway. Uh, what see do we have here? What do you see cache help? Um, yeah, C cache would help. However, if you change the optimization, then your C cache result is invalidated anyway, right? So C cache only helps you if you, if you do this kind of development stuff. C cache doesn't help you at all because all your headers and um, headers or optimization changes. So if you switch from OS202, all your C cache is invalidated anyway. So that um, doesn't help. But actually, fun fact, back in the day, I've used C cache to speed up Rock Linux builds, but mostly if you're like, you develop a week um, and have some C cache, and then at the end, because you see often like updating KDE and GNOME, and then you have new packages and new dependencies, and you sort stuff out, and you keep tweaking stuff and then at the end you want to make sure in your final release you, you you rebuild everything just to make sure that now finally everything is sorted and built then C cache indeed can help but um, yeah if if I figured OS still sucks with ceiling then yeah then rebuilding with OS doesn't help a thing there. Um, Comments in the audience, uh, hardware video acceleration from RX in other words would be excellent. Yeah, we have already some minor video acceleration, but not 3D, but some 2D and video. But again, um, I'm very much aware of, first of all, I'm not in the office, so I have not the P3 with me. I don't want to break it and scratch the plastic parts and whatnot, especially not my expensive uh, tool with 512 megabyte memory. RSX stuff will continue. However, I also cannot do a whole month RSX, I'm already over, I'm totally aware that I'm overstressing this with this musal ceiling live streams. But if you guys want to hang out, hey, we are installing. This also means, um, oh, wait a second, this, oh, this was, okay, so M4 built with, let's quickly um, disable this LTO again before ceiling starts because we for sure do not want to optimize. Hello, can we? Yeah, this is now super high. I all out of all the. Let's quickly pause this while this stupid VI is copying the file for recovery. And yeah, the stupid VI, it's it's uh, flushing all the I.O. Uh, file system cache here. So that is now stalling the system for some 15 minutes until all the stuff of the just installed. I'm seeing here, this is stupid, really. Um, Especially as this compute node doesn't have the most amazing I.O. performance and actually apparently, yeah, this is, yeah. La la la, da da da. Mm -hmm. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, if you wondered how long some massive flushing of 
for the old stuff can run. At least time for coffee, can't mix this up. Um, yeah, overstressing this already and um, just when the Debian pe people tell me I for 20 years I've done nothing, thank you very much. Recurring theme here, totally impressed by the friendliness in the open source ecosystem. And although we have done nothing for a couple of months here in spare time, previously I already had over 100 hours invest invested into this ceiling stuff. Also, yeah, our stuff here just recovered. Also, hello, can we? So, LTO off again. Oh, wait a second, this is on. And just test building this, you see, takes forever. And yeah, I'm totally aware that I'm totally overstressing this with too many ceiling musel. But um, I could, the only other thing is I could, like Casey Neistat style, film this here from different angles, um, sit on the balcony and the kitchen table, and try to edit here some, um, some power cut off hacking here all day. But um, yeah, maybe I should actually do this. But uh, also, yeah, on the other hand, not really sure how we continue with this content. But one thing, one thing is for sure, my concept of financing open source with YouTube videos works a little bit, but not the most amazing $3 a day. Um, to really sustain this, we somehow need to find an even better concept because this, all this IT stuff just takes too long, as you can see. Um, so yeah, also, it out of there again. So this is compressing that. Um, then we can probably SVNST package M4 should be here. So that is, I only added that for a test was needed. Don't think we can see the URL photos. You, I don't think we can see the URL to the photo you posted. What ah, photo? What those lines begin and crop to? Um, what is wrong with this today? De Graver, okay, I'm apparently missed. So De, De Graver wrote earlier, compiling GCC 9.2 with proper guide optimization. LTO takes two hours on an i7 year. And most people, I think for most people, this probably doesn't make much of a change. This few percent of LTO improved optimizations. Um, so probably most people don't really even, well, even I built with size optimization, although with the C++ code base, we just figure out. I probably switched to O2. I actually tested on the other video. I made a note. Um, O2 was not too bad, but certainly slower, right? No surprise there. O, uh, not O2, O1. O1 was faster than OS, but slower than O2, obviously. So probably I switch I used OS for faster build times, but apparently in 2019, at least with Ceiling, you can't do that. So now we build uh, Ceiling, hopefully. The problem is, and that is also as uh, a problem, right? Because we found that even shared library linking here to shared objects with Ceiling was way slower, um, which is why I now changed. And for some parts, it was not even working with the latest ceiling version, right? So they have a regression, which again, recurring theme. And you see how long, this is ridiculous, how long, I hope this really becomes faster in a second. You see 10 seconds here, um, all those ceilings running so long here forever. Really this speeds up here after we are done. If this would be linked to shared objects, we probably would have a speed up now already because it's using the LLVM libraries. But unfortunately, because we found for an optimized build, linking to static libraries was way faster, um, that um, yeah, now we don't get a speed up for that already because um, it's statically linked to the LLVM library. So all the, meaning all the previously size optimized parts of lib LLVM are now part of the ceiling binary, which is exactly why I didn't prefer static linking. Yeah. However, at least LLD is faster because we are. Oh, no, we have not yet built. We have not yet built, rebuilt LLD. Nah, damn it. Anyway, I'm actually surprised that we already 
23%. So I, I have hopes. Maybe we leave the stream running. Maybe it's a fun thing. I could actually get my... Uh, I hear Denny. Yeah, this is uh, proof. I slightly wonder... Uh, thin LTO. AA asks... Um, problem JPEG. What have you posted there? Um, thin LTO was thin LTO a GCC thing? Well, I've only um, gotten back on a... In a way, it is cool that we have 14 people. By the way, can I... Let's uh, first take a look on this photo. It's of course slightly annoying that I definitely don't have such a... Oops, damn it. Maybe a few less what it says not found. Your cable net problem JPEG says not found here. Um, how many percent are we in? 26 there. Yeah, this is really slow. I use plus plus i in loops for the most part. Um, so thin LTO, let's see. What do we have here? Those lines in, I try, so that console at boot screen because right now I don't have any OS on this laptop. Um, yes, and if um, I'm very much aware that the RSX is similar to some NVIDIA, I've updated this in my P3 patches there on, on one of those. I have a huge comment of this generation NVIDIA, this GeForce module and this memory stuff. Um, old school ask I++ or plus plus I in loops. I usually use um, pre-increment plus plus I. I also find it more readable because it it's first of all that it's faster is of course a moot point nowadays for op optimizing. It's of course hilarious that previously on some less optimizing compilers 20 years ago plus plus I was faster. Uh, whatever, maybe whatever. But I found find it more readable because it's it's more readable as well. You can read both certainly, but I find it faster to scroll over and stuff, although it doesn't really matter much, but it's like incrementing. So it's like the, the operation is before that. So it's like, for me, more visibly showing, it's, but whatever, certainly doesn't, doesn't matter much. Um, maybe no, it won't filter. Um, um, the problem JPEG, so for me, this problem JPEG all caps, what, uh, what all caps? Ah, don't let me edit this to problem that loads something. Um, what the heck is that? Uh, I've never seen that though. No idea what that is, honestly. Um, when does it happen or what? I certainly, whatever, never seen that. Maybe related to this graphic stuff. Um, uh, maybe try only ins mod. So th this happens after loading from Grub, I guess. Um, maybe only ins mod all video without the... All oh, right, wait a second. Um, I... S how was it? I actually think maybe I also maybe try without insmod GFX term, um, only insmod uh, all video maybe. Uh, yeah, and in, it tries this. Yeah, this is also. Um, so probably we need to add some more ify magic there on this crop two stuff. So how's our build doing? Did I forget any other? Yeah, so you, this, you see this is hilariously slower. So looking forward to um, what I triple E frame buffer. You probably don't need. Do you? That is for whatever um, gets the idea. Um, yeah, this really takes too long. As you see why, um, anyway, mm. we could actually in parallel, not that it makes it that much faster, or maybe it makes it slightly faster. Let's in parallel build LLD already because LLD we use also to link the binaries. Ah, by the way, thin LTO. So 
uh, SynLTO, what was exactly, let's look up SynLTO, uh, was this GCC or uh, SynLTO? Ah, this is ceiling 10, okay. Um, not yet played with that, what exactly was it? I forgot, I read about this once, I remember, but scalable and incremental achieves better runtime performance through a program analysis, cross module optimization, however, monolithic LTO implements. This is by merging all input into a single module, thin LTO with regular LTO ceiling emits LLVM bitcode. After the compile phase, thin LTO bitcode is augmented with a compact summary of the module. During the link step, only the summary is read and merged into the combined summary index, which includes an index. However, all transformations, including function importing, occur later when the models are optimized in fully parallel backends. By default, linkers that support thin LTO are set up to launch the thin LTO backends in threads. If not yet tried this, so probably can give that a try. Linkers gold LLD starting with usage. Okay, LTO equals thin. Interesting to utilize thin LTO simply at LTO thin option to compile and link. You know what? Let's feel lucky and try that. Yeah, okay, you now we load here the thing even more. Certainly doesn't speed it up. We can give that a try here live on YouTube. Um, it's of course uh, as usual. Um, I uh, what's here? Rich thirty two something is not registered or could not be found. What you're saying, Jimmy Fraser? Insmod insmod something. Rich TX thirty two series not rich. Windows ninety eight. What you even? saying there. Um, well, as usual, um, I would be mostly, well, the, of course, the initial summary that this is now much more clean, much more uh, the, the musical ceiling integration, much more clean, much more sorted, much more automated, not yet 100%, but we're getting there. Um, it's a pity that the site optimization spoils the build like that. Um, we could, by the way, yeah, how much can you load a machine? Certainly a lot. Let's Let's SSH one more into the same musical VM here, the source. Let's see if this LTO stuff works. We can, on uh, again, do not try this at home, but certainly I as uh, guru meditating uh, T2 master here could can try that. Um, either the option is in GCC parse config, maybe let's see LTO. Yes, yeah, so LTO equals Z. Let's LTO equals, what was it, thin LTO or something, or just thin. Let's try that here live on YouTube. Feeling lucky, we have here LTO equals, oh, just thin. And yeah, we can make this then a config option, obviously. Also, yeah, only. But there you see this maybe doesn't, isn't implemented in, in GCC, I guess. So, even the config options becoming a little bit uh, many here. So let's see in ceiling all not parse, ah, whatever, LTO. Yeah, let's rebuild our M4 test package here and see if that works with LTO equals sin, because why not? But again, the question was, does T2 support this? And with the nature of this highly scripted, readable, um, sorted, and easy to find and edit code base, it's just a matter of tweaking an option and adding it there and rebuilding it. Um, I get Questions on the screen, really strange. Um, yeah, totally loading this. Okay, at least LLD, so at least on the LLD part, we're getting there. Um, I wonder, I, well, the, the really massive test would actually be um, rebuilding rebuilding LLVM ceiling. Well, not both, but only, well, because it should only, I think it took like 40 minutes. We are pro probably totally long into the live stream as usual. As, yeah. 
why is IT expensive? You see, you build something and you, well, actually, I intentionally built it for the test because I wanted to find out how much faster is size optimization with ceiling and we see here also not usable for massive code bases like this, certainly for embedded stuff. Even Grub2 we need to build with size optimization, otherwise it is too large for the boot sector and old fashioned master boot sector stuff. But um, yeah, you test something and a couple of hours of your life are gone. Um, so this is, uh, yeah, again, uh, not only recurring theme here, old fashioned configure is slow, but this Ryzen in the meantime totally loaded here, 16. So this is already, the cores are already two times loaded with compiling ceiling and LLVM and also still waiting for AMD releasing the amazing 16 thread, uh, 16 core 32 thread SKU here, ASAP. Comments in the audience, have you tested kernel compiled performance using the P3? after the SSD install. Um, not really because compiling natively on the P3 is too slow, it's only because the cell, the broadband engines there, do not contribute to compiling, right? So you have relatively in order, not amazing power PC performance, so I only cross compile nowadays. It makes, it doesn't really honestly make much sense. Uh, of course, the system performance increased massively, launching something, doing something. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, I can test um, on the MacBook booting that ESO on if it worked like that. I will test it. I, I didn't test boot it because I have an uptime of, in the meantime, uptime here on the ThinkPad. 15 days and counting, so yeah, but I need to unplug, unfortunately, the SSD sometime soon anyway. Also, if you wondered, of course, normally this configure stuff runs faster, just that um, this thing has a load average of 28, I guess. Um, yeah, you see the massive amount of LL uh, ceiling processes there, certainly everyone fighting for the precious send cores. I'm using NVIDIA Quadro. No, the PS3 has two. Uh, it's one core. It's one hyper-threaded core. So yeah. Um, Danny Schoolhouse is NVIDIA only. I'm sorry for you, <laughs> but it should boot right. So. Um, Let's, um, well, it should work. So because the, the, the firmware sets up the, um, the boot stuff and the Linux kernel is only using the frame buffer. So that should work. Um, but um, I will test with the ThinkPad. I, anyway, again, I, I damaged my Mojave install thing anyway. Um, so yeah, let me grab pasta. I have the feeling my wife already warmed up the pasta from leftover from last dinner. Um, let me quickly grab this, I guess, and then um, as we still have people in the audience, why not? Tune back in a second for hopefully more findings. Maybe I test build uh, ceiling just to see if it's massively faster, if size optimization is usable or something or whatever. Anyway, in theory, not the worst idea to have a Linux stream running here for people to ask Linux questions. Just said, yeah, this of course takes a little bit long. And um, maybe instead of all video, can you insmod VBE or um, are you sure they are? I would, I'm, I would be. Um, so I have never insmoded this modules, right? So for me, it. Um, I'm actually not sure if this VBE and VGA stuff works on an EFI system. Um, and um, yeah, so I would be slightly careful. But again, uh, have you tried with only all video and not GFX term? So maybe because maybe I think I also had some strange graphic, graphic corruptions on my um, on my Retina MacBook Pro with GFX term. Now that, now that I think about this, maybe. Maybe uh, all video work better than also in smutting GFX term. But I think I mentioned this already 20 minutes ago. So yeah, see you in a second and let's see what where we're getting with this build.
So for those who are late, you are watching Did you make your own init ID least once Ubuntu? Who do you call? Who cares? We are using of course our own init ID. Um, yeah, I just can't try. Uh, I can't test this for you now because um, I'm live streaming from this year. So, how long does this take? Ceiling still building, but at least we have already. So, Sin LTO, Sin LTO worked. It's just a matter of supplying this option there. Um, just tested this here the first time. Um, So of course, it's not a performance test. So yes, there, there you see, if you really want to cover and test everything, then you now could rebuild everything and uh, test the performance of Syn LTO versus not Syn LTO. Also, full disclosure, not misusing my wife for cooking. I cooked this myself. But you yes, think I think here's a whole day. But dedication and stuff even on the Sunday my wife already eaten because too bored of me waiting for the mighty live stream here to finish just because all the size optimized stuff is so slow yeah just even 50% it's hilarious it's live of a stream I have a live of a of a Linux distribution developer Coming to a live stream next to you soon, eating live streaming here or lunch with our whole family, right? PS3 is um, threads capable, H capable of Sony. Yep. And that shout out to our wives for being incredible and credible. Ah. So, yeah, but uh, actually, some. On top of doing all the IT work, modern men also need to cook here anyway. So again, my creation anyway, to start with. So yeah, unfortunately, um, yeah, super slow to build. Has anyone else in the audience already tested Sin LTO? 52 hertz, hilarious. I slightly wonder why this, I mean, size optimize, I, I, I understand I ask for size optimization, but the ceiling size, optimizing, um, size optimization already doesn't get too small. This is why I hoped it would be a little bit more performant, but as you see, isn't really. I think it would actually be faster if I would have recompiled the cross compiler and cross compiled it again, it probably would have only taken 20 minutes instead of 40. But yeah. For the RSX stuff, of course, you're welcome to also do um, RSX work, right? It's not really that I need to be the only one who's doing all that. And I was thinking it should be possible to share and reuse some code from the homebrew stuff. So this libg light something and also the PS3 uh, emulation there it certainly should be possible. Maybe even, also it maybe not easy, but maybe it could theoretically be possible to, yeah, but even that, to hack up some something to, to run some Linux graphics stack like in the P3 emulation, but even that would be a huge undertaking because it's only meant to run games, so. Yeah, it's really a pity that this is so slow. What I meant earlier with options, so theoretically we could add an option 
because it certainly doesn't make sense for most people to link time optimize CLang, which again took one hour, just the, the link time optimizer. So maybe like 10 minutes building CLang and then link time optimizing it took one hour. And leave me in the comments, do you think it makes sense to have an option like LTO is really large to like have an option to link time optimize everything that is not too large maybe. But yeah, leave me the comments if you... The problem is so many options, right? And then regressions and bit rot, nobody's using them, nobody's testing them, but although maybe it should be the default link time optimize everything except super large stuff because it just takes forever. For maybe questionable optimization performance. <laughs> I really pity if I would not have size optimized that we would have already probably a whole ISO image, but I'm really looking forward to see how the performance will be after recompiling it. I wonder if Danny has already done a new boot test. It's a pity that the Sony Vario P is only 32-bit, otherwise I could have boot tested this on the Sony Vario P, but it doesn't boot 64-bit iffy, obviously. Yeah, DeGraver writes a few percent performance here and there and soon you're talking real numbers. Yeah, the, as, you, as we see, as we learn the hardware, it's the big options that matter, right? Like not using size optimization, then if it is so slow, there you see there it's, it's really 100% faster. And then whether it's 102 or 198, if you link time optimize, certainly doesn't matter. So probably, yeah. But again, if for a distribution, building it once and distributing it 100,000 times, maybe. But for building it once for yourself, the two hours you are waiting, certainly you nearly never get back, maybe. But... Um, How this can be so slow, I have no idea. The question, even with this, uh, can someone Google probably link, link uh, syn, opti, syn LTO is probably only an LLVM thing, right? It's probably not an GCC thing. Then it starts already how to implement this. Do you always show it and it has no, opera no no effect for GCC? Do you only allow this option if you're actually using CLang as a compiler? Yeah, that's what I figured regarding SYN LTO. And um, it's in so many options, by the way, those People, there was someone, I forgot the name again, sorry. Maybe it was, who was it here today? Maybe not yet here today of all the comments. Who was doing fully automated Linux from scratch thing there uh, with Musil Ceiling. Maybe they are interested to joining the T2 stuff because so much stuff here just works. 
and um, again providing nice patch set and documentation and uh, the next thing again certainly QT5 which certainly be cool to get AMD or Intel for that matter here sponsor I mean, not only that they sponsor other channels that drop the precious CPUs on the floor and roll over them with a chair, but we certainly could make them, put them to good use here. getting somewhere hopefully soon but again it's only 66 percent to third really slow I really hope that vastly speeds up soon Also really curious how large the ISO image will become. The last image was really huge, but we also had two times LLVM in their old like version eight, version nine. Actually, we could check this already. Maybe we switch here, yeah, we can switch this on again for the next builds. And then we can already take a look how large the packages are musical. LVM, so that is are you kidding me? Two gigabyte? 1,996 This can't be serious, can they? How can this stuff be so large? Don't tell me I... This is not fully stripped or... Debug symbols? No, it's not debug symbols. How can the stuff be so large? It was even size optimized. I mean, this is of course silly. Then I wanted to save space and all this stuff. But well, again, we need it anyway. Yeah, but maybe this is also static libraries, right? All the static library content is. Yeah, this is already just the ceiling stuff because of this is 171 megabytes ceiling nine. Are you completely freaking kidding me? Can't make this stuff up. How did that happen? Okay, it says not stripped. Mm. So this is also this warning that is scrolling by. This is of course silly then. That was what I mentioned already, that this dash S thing, it should be stripped. Why is this not stripped? Okay, so somehow, I mean, what I, because we usually strip on the fly with dash S, so maybe this somehow doesn't work. What I already noticed for a long time, that is not a new thing, or IDM log, that um, here's a warning probably that it, 
Dash S has no effect. Oh, by the way, now that we use uh, LTO, wait a second, don't tell me we... Some of this hard. Ah, uh, you know what? We accidentally are uh, them. Maybe we messed up the whole so much to testing, testing, and really double checking everything. Maybe due to this really stupid thing here, we built this with O1. Yeah, because this doesn't work like this. Damn it! This is conditional. This was supposed to conditional use LD, LLD. This was supposed. Ah, this, uh, damn. this is our own implementation thing here. This is obviously. Uh, damn, this is 01. Okay, this is a really delete now. Shit. Um, damn it, this was. I only had this there because this is also really stupid that if you optimize with size, with OS and OZ, then. Um, the debugger, uh, the debugger, the linker, or the LLVM, they now of course ruined here everything and building with O1. This is of course shitty, damn it. Ah, the more you test and think, damn it, only live on this channel. Um, but this is also, this this bug only happened because the LLVM ceiling people are they really irritated because if you build and link with OS or OZ, then the linker the with LTO does not. Um, does not support OS or OZ, then it says plugins. So you can, if you LTO link, you can have O2 or O1 there, but the LTO plugin does not handle OS or OZ, then it, I, I, I think it even errors out. It, it doesn't, it's not even a warning, it's erroring that the LTO plugin option does not support, uh, needs a number there, doesn't, doesn't support anything but an optimization number. Damn it. Um, yeah, um, so much to here, probably more. Let's first finish that. But I also wonder why is here no OS normally if... Um, I'm so spoiled. I probably, yeah, the problem is... Uh, I probably also need to evaluate if... Uh, damn, it's my own wrapping magic stuff here. I only wonder is here why is here no dash s in there? There should be for stripping. Ah, I commented this out ah, only here on this channel. For why did I comment this out? Okay, guys, you know what? We ruined quite some hours of compile work of unstripped, overmassive. Uh, that explains a couple of things. Why did I even comment this S thing out? Yeah, okay. If you build unstripped debug symbols, O1 optimized stuff, stuff is slow, slow like shit. The only thing is, no, I don't even know how useful the size optimization is. But okay, you know what? This is just a reminder because this is O1, I only work around the stupid linker stuff, not accepting OS and OZ. I probably next patch here, maybe live on this channel, LLVM ceiling stuff. It's probably LLVM. Um, the thing is, can we, I think, let's rebuild it, stop it. It doesn't make sense here at all. Let's disable LTO. That for sure takes too long anyway. The only thing is, should we risk building for, you know what, I want to know how, because I would intuitively have expected this LTO stuff to be faster size. You know what, make it here in whole afternoon. The only thing is, we are running on battery power on this camera, but it's still half full. Is it the aftermarket? Hey, f no, no. Yes, it's the aftermarket. I have two batteries. The aftermarket cheap battery is in there. Because it's also hilarious, right? This stupid Lumix Panasonic batteries, they cost 60 bucks. It's hilarious. I have a cheap third party 20 euro 
copy things there from China in there. Um, okay, so now the load should probably be zero, right? So everything is calmed down. Let's, so probably let's try how fast is building a cross compiler. Um, that should take 10 minutes. Let's see, uh, not cr actually this is Canadian cross because this is ah, only, um, let's see how fast this is, that should be, let's see. Um, this is like Canadian cross, it's using the cross compiler to, um, to cross, cross compile the, cross, co cross compile the compiler. Let's see. I mean, it's of course the first, the first 16 invocations are fast. And then, by the way, what did I, uh, damn it, if we first need to build LLVM, damn it, only here on this channel, because that is linking. Uh, let's see how, um, how fast it, it should um, normally take 10 minutes. At least that is what, at, at least with GCC it does, like using GCC to build LLVM should probably have done this longer time ago. And now my, even my pasta is getting, my leftover pasta from last night is getting cold. Yeah, next time, hey, quite some people tuned in. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Christian. Um, I think YouTube got no notification, so if I bring it. Yeah, people don't need to hang around whole day, whole afternoon, also it's appreciated. Welcome. Um, old school benchmark. Many uh, his apps using OS, O2, O fast. Noticed F was file size was larger than default, and O fast was huge. Um, if you still had that Mac Mini, you could at least keep your food warm. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have still the Mac Mini, but it's in the office and we're not in the office. I probably could, actually the, the ThinkPad is also, fun fact, um, although it's only YouTube live streaming and OBS is saying actually 5% CPU load, but I'm not really sure if that is accurate. It is getting quite warm here with yeah OBS 53 of in so like one of the eight threads uh, one thread half plus chrome plus the amazing cool retro vintage effect that is by the way uh, core i7 something it's getting quite warm so core i7 8565u um yeah it is it's quite fast uh, quite hot there. So let's see, 22%. I have the feeling, let's see, it could be faster. Let's see if we can get rebuilds this in 20 minutes. And um, I hope it's not a mistake to use OS, but um, maybe I commented this OS out for testing some comp like build, like CMake, then configure test something, whatever. Mac Mini also makes a fine coffee warmer, so. Yeah, 30, and you see how much faster that is. The cross compiler, so the compiler used to build, so it's of course ceiling, but that ceiling was built with GCC because it's it was built with a system compiler, the system compiler here on this which the machine is GCC. What is really strange though, I think I tested this. The reason, so there's a warning like argument unused doing compilation, this dash s, and I'm pretty sure I tested this a month ago because I wanted to change this, and but then I figured with testing, so always always test stuff and not just blindly change stuff, because I'm pretty sure with GCC when you compile an object file like with dash c compile, and um, I think it works for GCC. So if you just do a GCC dash c something. 
um, you get more like debug symbols or, or, or and stuff than when you use dash s for stripping. So I'm pretty sure I verified this but very theoretically. We could do this again, by the way. It's, I really wonder why the ceiling people have not implemented this. So we get here not stripped, 100, um, 1400 something. Okay, this is the same size though. It also says not stripped. Hmm, interesting. I thought I tested this though. Well, of course it doesn't have a functional effect here. Uh, just that I don't like the warning the most. I certainly still need this Mac Mini for running official macOS virtualization, right? As we legally should at least use our original Apple hardware. But this is also why I prefer small and beautiful software, right? It's a little bit excessive that a compiler in 2019 on a such massive multi-core machine compiles 10 minutes. It's a little bit out of hand in my opinion. Hope it's way faster though in quite some time. Well, theoretically, we could live stream we could live stream a uh, whole link time optimization run here. That again, the last time I tried this um, without sin LTO with regular LTO link time optimized a whole hour. Christian noticed that Optimize will mess with how it handles integers if you implicitly do something in several steps to gain resolution. It will simplify it and ruin the whole thing. Yeah, that could some well it should yeah. You always need to be careful with numeric stability, but although it should probably normally not need. Well, actually, at, in GCC times there was fast. Actually, this could be that. In GC times there was unsafe math optimization or something, right? Um, so maybe with O3 or O4 or something or O fast, it's also enabling unsafe math optimization. Um, the x86 ISO only puts scrub to rescue mode. Um, error file filter is not found. You mean the 30 bit image? The 30 bit image is. MBR, the 30-bit image, uh, like master boot records, the 30-bit image was tested though on Chemo, so uh, QEMO full installation, so.
So, are we getting somewhere? 66%. Yeah, you see in a couple of minutes we are at least much further. I only hope that really strips that. Um, as this is apparently not having an effect, um, I only wonder maybe. So, here are a couple of things. Um, so, one thing is. a little bit warmish here even from live streaming or whatever or the um, maybe we save a little bit LED lighting here um, a couple of more things so if this because the warning is a little bit annoying maybe we make this and um, like compile because our wrapper has by the way this is, I implemented this I think as far as I remember this conditional stuff so compile or uh, that and this wrapper append although I thought I checked check this but whatever the warning are a little bit annoying um, so debug then strip otherwise remove as it looks probably append compile wait a second I mistyped this compile that of course should be compile that or that um, although I was pretty much sure I tested this but whatever now um, another thing is I was wondering because the other bug that the OS always had effect is only because I didn't think that of course the, our wrapper passes to the next space so that is why when I had here in this other file um, I meant this, of course, only to have effect with LTO, whereas even our LTO here, LLD, um, that, of course, this was then effectively, because I, I thought, like, compiling or not, so this would have at least had some escapes here, because, of course, So yeah, camera battery. Um, at least I realized it instantly. Um, something I did something. Some optimizations require global variables to be set as volatile, so they are. Um, probably I should. So yeah, aftermarket battery is um, made in China. Caution. I mean, fun fact: uh, Chili Power. <laughs> Chili Power. Um, Fun fact, I think this capacity was slightly higher than uh, the official one, but maybe we... So how long did it, did it last? It lasted... Oh, I stopped the stream anyway. Sounds like Chinese one, yes, poor capacity, what are we... Um, the, the Chinese aftermarket, so this is 1300 milliamp hours, and the official one I have in there now, but I think maybe this has like... 100 milliamp hours or so more or whatever something of that sort um, but anyway so far this wasn't so in, in the office by the way I have of course a DC coupling thing but yeah already charged that in case we stream longer than another two hours. So what would ideally be nice not to have here always addition to uh, conditional stuff would supporting escaped spaces like that that would I only wonder is this really okay maybe I don't get into this don't want to spend one or one hour working on this. Um, we should probably I should rather patch um, LLVMC language by the way okay so Finally, we are getting here somewhere with it. Um, what else do we have here? Powerful, but is it? 
what it was half full sounds like a Chinese one paper capacity Chinese knuckles well um, the camera lasted quite long right we streamed how long did we stream two hours already or something so this Chinese battery is not bad but anyway I also only over um, pride out of my dead hands there I'm not going to spend 60 or 80 bucks for an official battery. These prices are crazy, in my opinion. 19.99 for a camera battery are. Um, yeah, maybe um, the only thing is in the office. Again, I usually run on this DC coupler thing. Um, probably how many? How long did we stream? Two hours or something? Probably the time for the battery is not too bad. Okay, so finally. LLVM, let's um, also rebuild ceiling. Um, let's take a look on not only how long did this build now, that is in VAR ADM packages LLVM. So this build from 45, okay, it built unfortunately 15 minutes around. That could be slightly slower with, than with GCC, but again, this system the, the real number we will see in a minute um, when then we build this again uh, any in any case this is already dramatically faster than um, our previously 40 minutes let's take a look at the sizes here and whether it's fully stripped that is vm um, yeah that says stripped now and oh wait a second, didn't really want to run LLD, but whatever. Um, I wanted to run, or maybe even there, even that is 200. I hope it didn't count many of them twice if it's in links, but now yeah, really large. Um, Yeah, the largest is still ceiling, so this, but even LLVM, let's uh, maybe human readable, yeah, 23 megabyte because of all the static libraries in there. We're not really, hmm. so the difference was statically linked, optimized for speed. It was a ceiling, as per the previous test, was I think like fully optimized 15 minutes or so, or 16 then optimized with shared objects was already significantly slower like 23 minutes for compiling the whole linux kernel and then um, for size optimized instead of speed and shared objects was the slowest at 28 ish or so uh, minutes for whole linux kernel certainly yeah not amazing but this huge libraries of course with debug symbols explain a thing or two really pity that always something Chinese, yeah, quite ultra fine. Um, so uh, that is it. Um, LTO, I really wonder what we do with also irritated people outside needing to shout around. I wonder if hmm, there are so many small stuff to do. What else do we have? Yes, yeah, also even stuff like Walgrind might not yet have. Musal support, I hacked there something, but this may or may not work, probably may not work. Oops. Uh, we could actually, yeah, so many small stuff to do, including, I wonder, do I still have a shell at Ryzen? 
really can't wait to have a small faster compiler again. And what was that? Probably, oh, that was that one. Uh, okay, anyway, need to be careful because we had here some uncommitted changes on that. We start to really need to clean up this, and here's some stuff of cc equals so actually that means we should clean up a couple of more mason packages here all the fun stuff to do those two we had there already in this other VM, but let's fully do that from the Mason enablement that we don't need anymore as per the previous video. Um, probably actually think we don't need any of that in there. And here, hmm, maybe we need that though. Probably this GSS API is only in there by accident. I have zoom. This will all, I guess, right? Let's double check here this group. way and uh, routes to new global Mason support. I really pity that this takes so long. I'm not really that because the problem is I wanted to save space and compile time and then this LLVM ceiling is also so huge that it takes forever and well for Mesa the thing that I said that we needed LLVM for Mesa anyway for the 3D stuff. Um, we don't need ceiling, so yeah, but even again, even in a fully optimized build, we still have only 10 minutes for LL, uh, for ceiling, but yeah, maybe bin utils alone nearly already takes 10 minutes. Mm. Yeah, still a little bit mixed feelings here about this stuff though. Especially size-wise, you see, although I, I was surprised to find that the static linked stuff is so much faster in terms of this huge C++ code base. You see how large, well, of course it was an accident with the debug symbols, but certainly even without debug symbols, it's certainly still large. So replicating, copying all this static library content and they're not really sure if, yeah, also as good it is for me, some, how much was it, 16 to 20 years, so quite some percent, was it also even 25%? Well, 25% is of course certainly a huge deal, but still not the most, yeah. But on the other hand, yes, nowadays people can download stuff fast and um, also SSD hard drives are super large, so maybe here yeah, for this one package, just for 25 compile performance. I just really so curious what the final image will be. So can we not speed up that here, there's fully. Can we not uh, mark as resolved? What else do we have here? Yeah, also my exact image did not yet compile, but that was due to um, archiving differently. I wonder actually if that will work with the 
System-wide LLVM support. Yes, there you see how many uncommitted changes do we have here. Actually, this we can already probably at least for now commit because um, yeah, probably it's for our installer thing not to build a static variant for now because we don't have a static version of something. Well used anyway, you only need a static mine version so the binary installer if you have a totally broken system, so probably better not break your system. Usually the best recommendation anyway. Bin utils, that's actually I this was also but um I disabled bin utils no anyway. This was also there was a really strange issue with oh no, this wasn't bin utils, this was actually core utils or something of that sort. I also wonder why this didn't happen the last time, as far as I remember, so not really sure why that occurred now, that there was a, two times the symbol uh, minus zero, so there's some really esoteric code there for old-fashioned systems. Also this finished now, then probably let's Let's see how fast this is. So this is now size optimized. Let's, um, yeah, let's build it already. Don't let's not waste too much time. Five um, LLVM. Let's see if this builds now in somewhat the region of ten minutes. Um, although probably we can check two things. So first of all, we will check to um, yeah to finish this. So core utils here yeah, also 2019 some workarounds for HPUX of decades ago having a, some really strange defines and of having a minus zero or something like what the heck 2019 and then this old-fashioned crap is build, breaking my build because oh, it had that two times the stupid minus zero crap in there that I don't even care about and it's, it's hilarious. Um, but let's check quickly the size now of LLVM binaries or CLang. So that would be yeah, so CLang is now only 58 megabyte also yeah LLD we need to rebuild LLD that we will do in parallel that should LLD was still but yeah it is it is smaller but yeah it certainly weighs some for sure 50 megabyte larger 50 megabyte minus compression hmm. let's see how fast is this here now Yep, just arrived here. So what are you using instead of bin utils LLVM? So the previous uh, summary again, because the stream is of course already super long. Welcome everyone. Um, my previous attempts, I wanted a full uh, LLVM ceiling system because we need LLVM anyway for the 3D stack of Mesa for the 3D drivers. And then I was curious with ceiling being so much improved can we build a whole system, which we could now accept. You can't use glibc right now because at least LL, um, CLang 8 could not build the glibc. I've not retried this with CLang 9, but I'm also not interested in too many combinations. I already support way too many combinations in T2. So, um, cheat and compress that with UPX. Um, well, I personally run better FS uh, sets than not compressed anyway. Um, but yeah, and the ISO is compressing with, with set standard. But yeah, so um, so we have already too many combinations. So I'm not the most interested in compiling also ceiling with glibc. If I want GNU system, I can already use GCC glibc for like forever. And due to glibc not building, at least until recently, not tested again. I switched to Musil, which I anyway was interested for the smaller alternative C library. And the previous build started in April, finished last week or so, or this week or whatever, um, already quite promising. And now I've also disabled bin utils and used just the LLVM tools, which worked surprisingly well. I did not even expect this. I thought I'd try this last night and expected 100 of issues, but that was actually more smooth than I anticipated. Whatever you're building that. Um, 
And um, yeah, so fully LLVM, I'm surprised that works. I've probably soon we built the Linux kernel, but again, the Linux kernel on this Ryzen, how long did the Linux kernel build here? 20 minutes or, um, ah, yeah, right. So it was fully, with, yeah, 15 minutes with GCC, 20, depending on what kind of ceiling LLVM optimizations. So, um, so that would be the next thing that I've never used. And maybe I even update my data center VM yet again, which I've just put into test operation. But this, again, the whole process that I spent here days and nights again and again, I read currently, um, of course, made the whole process much more streamlined. Before it was more hacky. I had to manually fiddle around there to even get some stuff working and building. Um, so now we have also a more optimized LLD. Let's look again on the sources. Um, you see this is already much faster than before. Let's see how, also right now, of course, I have built ceiling and LLD in parallel. So affecting the build time there a bit. And you know, LLD also only 33, but again, LLD is only so large because of the stupid static linking, right? Um, it's, let's see, LLD, LLD, um, that is, um, it's not linking against any, yeah, that linked statically. Yeah, so, so here's a, probably let's double check that. What do I have there in right now? Ceiling, is it so LLVM? Somewhere. Hello. Here, yeah, this is fully commented off. So, yeah, not building any of that stuff right now. So that is fully static. So only that is there. Let's really see what I'm really curious about the total ISO size. Uh, comments audience, uh, 3BSD, uh, ceiling is base compiler nowadays. Yeah, I think someone switched somewhere, I think. Not, um, also not sure, maybe only compiler, maybe they use their old-fashioned assembler, no idea. But um, you obviously re realize I'm mostly doing this because, so not only, of course, we are finishing with this stuff, it's much more clean, much more integrated. Um, only, uh, how many SVNST? package of um, how many changes do I uh, 45 changes is much less than the 300 growing changes on my data center uh, also by the way this is not musical related this is uh, time for mechanical keyboard um, the arcade does was this needed or not? Um, okay, maybe see arcade actually. Probably we can change it, and you're actually not sure about that one. Maybe this in, gen in general didn't build with ceiling. So sometimes when something just didn't build, I first tried to add no LTO to iron out whether it's LTO or ceiling per se. Sometimes it's just ceiling more strict and, and stuff. Because again, the packages often have really esoteric stuff, um, like new stuff and old fashioned vintage stuff. Target generic package. So let's probably change CDR kit because, um, yeah, that is in there. Um, we probably change this now because that was, was it file system? Lip ISO burn and what's it? Lip. Lip ISO FS and ISO burn probably because for Grub2 we anyway need a newer. It makes no sense to build something with an 11 or 10 years not updated tool. Let's grab that again here. Grab CDR kit old stuff. Let's change that out only here live on YouTube to CDR kit to Lip ISO FS and so burn, I guess, was it? Because, uh, of course, for Grub2, they had to add new esoteric features to this. Xorizo something burning stuff. Let's see. Find Lip 
flip ISO burn ah ISO FS probably I don't have target generic zero zero minimal ISO yeah ISO FS I think it was so let's yeah it is significantly faster let's see did we already what am I even building here that is LLVM oh, we also need ceiling then though and then we need to build so actually probably build Musil app we probably want to rebuild everything in this rebuild stage bar ADM unfortunately due to that five how many okay it's not too many five everything okay that we don't need okay oh wait a second yes 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 no we anyway need to build it I could just wipe all I just don't I just want uh, just <laughs> just don't want to add, de delete all and then while I speak I anyway delete too much let's touch 5 LVM again that we just deleted because I certainly don't want to build that again so how far are we in the build 77 uh, let's really hope it's faster so now so why is I'm getting crazy here um, let's see can the T2 install CD create fat 32 file systems last time I had troubles creating an iffy partition R oh, that is a good question um, we probably want to add that um, of course in old-fashioned times we never never needed that but actually wait a second we probably have this fat and config only today live on YouTube for fat dos fs you told something so we have dos fs utils that probably is in there right mk fs forfeit or so hmm. but i guess it's in dos fs no you know let's quickly build this in dos fs tools manually should maybe work like that if you're lucky Why does it in actually no? Mm -hmm. Probably set in the little L header because it tried to use a system Lua plug in there. Another small detail I need to tweak another day. But I guess it's in Joseph S tools as far as I probably remember. What else do we have in the comments? It was that in the comments. Um, yeah, and then we also need to add this. And yeah, let's hurry there a little bit. Yeah, recurrent theme here, slow configure stuff, wasting here all the precious Ryzen threads. Build Musil bar EDM F list DOS FS tools mkfs.fat. Um, is that the right one for? Okay, then I grabbed probably the wrong one. Did I grab for? I grabbed for VFAT. Okay. Probably can do 32 bit something new style for. Hmm. At least I hope so.
I sure hope I built in Tempefest, but I think I built in Tempefest. Yeah, I do. Um, we also need to add the Zen to the init RD, um, not init RD, to the second stage. That would be target share install or something. Build second stage. Uh, stage two. Actually, here's mkdosfs. This is not the right package name that is. Nah. Does FS utils that could be the reason why that didn't work anymore or never. So that could probably work the next time then. So LLVM finished, um, we could already, yeah, down it said, no, this is hanging because flushing, so no background. Let's already carry on here with ceiling while this is packing, saving a fractions of a minute. Um, let's see how long this compiled though. You see this just compiles now, less no, no random build breakage any more package LLVM so that build in 12 so that is 14 minutes is not too bad for so then the size so one rule back but let's see so this was yeah let's oh and we so this actually now is reason so then maybe even the size optimization unless before I had broken it with my hard coded dash o one um, and debug symbols now certainly much more reasonable and we had compiled some stuff in parallel um, that is now much more reasonable are ah, here stuff to show and so I wonder why are your messages held for review and um, I don't like so the graver says uh, he doesn't personally like if he at all yeah me neither don't don't feel like fixes anything yeah I also don't like it totally as you know I like small stupid stuff and this AV is way too over complicated um, but um, at least well now we have it anyway just like ACPI and then it's at least a little bit more modern flexible and not size limited as master boot record stuff uh, does it accept F32 let's see MKFS was it DOS something or FED? Oh, there's yeah dash uh, capital why is it if nothing specified will automatically select 12 oh, here's 32 yeah also 2 bit yeah looks like that I would say so thanks for noticing that another bug fixed here live on YouTube hopefully um, we could theoretically now after ceiling turn on LTO again again I've only done this not to have you one hour of LTO time and continue testing the thin. I just, it's like hard coded again, needs an option. Um, leave in the comments you want an option for everything, or getting a little bit out of hand, you really need to know very precisely which option you, you want to tune, where, and for what, and so on. But uh, yeah, that's so 47%. How many minutes would it be? So normally, this is why usually I don't have this matrix stuff scrolling by here. If without the scrolling by, I would have seen the start time of this package more compact, but yeah, whatever. But you see the difference, right? Debug, well, of course, debug symbols totally killed it, but otherwise, um, 
Yeah. Also, the other one was maybe O1. So hopefully OS is faster than O1, I hope. At least it was 15 years ago with GCC. And again, as per my previous videos and optimizations, I could actually check this live here on YouTube. Um, source open bench CPU tests a display, but this might be no, this is actually cool. So we had here OS, and that is here, and build time. We actually more interested in runtime for that. So OS. And okay, OS and O2 are not really far, but at least here 35, 36, 36, oh, wait a second, 36, 13, 30 is even accidentally faster. And at this, even total size optimization was, but maybe rounding. Let's see, GNU PG 1788. So there it is. Just slightly. Oh, wait a second, this is also faster. You see that I said uh, size optimization is sometimes faster. Um, only here live on YouTube. Oh, 2787. So there it's slightly slower, 796. But total size optimization. Again, this on this Ryzen, maybe also me measuring 1404 OS. There it's slightly, but again, 14.04. Do we have here OS and OZ? So, but even OS and OZ doesn't make the largest difference here in those tests. So, what do we have at set standard? 14.15 and 14.26. So, here yeah, let's hope. Here you even see that total size optimization was. Again, faster here at set standard, so so much to um, size optimization always. Yeah, indeed, although we compile so time in front of the comments, yeah. Um, the, but when we continue to, of course, it only works when I build single packages, usually, we will continue in a second with. Um, this um, compiling the whole target distribution stuff without specifying jobs manually, and then we don't have single package times anyway. Um, so yeah, so much to that. I hope at least the ceiling is significantly more usable now. So we can also continue looking into whatever other stuff. So some of this stuff. Um, don't really feel like, wait a second, some of this orange stuff we can also, how many? Hmm. Delete this stuff here. Ah, so many changes, what is this p opt? Old fashioned amazing package. Oh, this was also some, why is here some mem check header? No. I don't even remember that one, probably. I've done that in April already. Mm. This is libxml and what was the other? We need this now in stage one for, maybe we just commit it like this for now. I really wonder if LLVM really uses libxml, but apparently it did for me. And this is why I had to edit there that it's cross built otherwise. Um, so usually we, we mark the packages for bootstrapping, otherwise we don't want to cross build everything beside, not everything cross builds, but when we build a native build with bootstrapping, then we just want to build the most minimal set of stuff cross to build everything native anyway, otherwise building more only wastes time. Um, so that was, that is also coming to an end. What did I even want to check now? Something apparently, all oh right, so I wanted to check if bar ad unlock 
five NLVM really uses I oh, also super clever. That was when I accidentally removed the log file, but LVM XML error font lex, lib x. So this is really using that. Um, apparently, also hmm, modern build output. You don't even because you don't. Yeah, you don't see this is yeah build output not being verbose anymore. And then you can't grab for what is really used in there. So yeah, modern times here. Hmm. But I guess as it is explicitly checking for that, I guess they use XML files somewhere there in XML, uh, CS, uh, ceiling, LLVM stuff. So yeah, final linking stuff. And then we can finally launch here, rebuilding everything properly. I only wonder, so let's maybe prepare already some looking up the build time, but that looks relatively reasonable. In package that would be ceiling. So yeah, installing, doing the package fun, and then let's do all the rest of the build already. So that build in yeah ten minutes. So that is not too bad. So then we are really close to the GCC times here, even size optimized, which again similar speed. Hopefully, well actually it is similar speed. DOS board, what is that, you know? Hmm. You add DOS tools and then, uh, but wait a second, we don't really probably need them um, not by default in the cross stage. So for whatever reason, that didn't build, not really interested right now. And yeah, clean up all this stuff we had there. Maybe we manually build the Linux kernel. I would be curious because otherwise we could now watch build all the more normal, normal packages, all the mutes which probably should build. So yeah, finally way faster here, finally back to speed and snuff. Also that is saying some, oh, this is only shared files of touching some directory, not a big deal. Um, also, need to manual also yeah really like really next i need to really implement um this globbing stuff for ld something that is build musel because otherwise to avoid build errors at least for fancy builds probably should really do this next here to have this t2 specific wildcards work like we patched glibc for decades already. Because glib is in there, otherwise a couple of stuff will fail. Also, why does this fail? Strip command not found. Ah, okay, this is funny. Okay, this is a low hanging fruit. Let's uh, quickly fix this. The only thing is that you see no bin utils, no strip. Although probably we could probably work around this. Uh, and could add this to the to-do. So where do we have zoom links for uh, zoom links? Um, ah, so this is also like nm, and so this is also next n -m -n -n -m -r -a -r and strip. Let's see if there is a, probably there is an LLVM strip. We zoom links this now and probably, yeah, probably I will make a kind of tool chain option uh, bin utils like system wide bin utils or LLV or something. Um, because certainly the packages need to know what is the intended default to create zoom links there too. That kind of stuff. Or actually, very theoretically, I could simply change this in LLV. Actually, I could make if package installed, like selected for installation bin utils. Um, otherwise, create those zoom links. Maybe that is a, a cheap and dirty trick for now. User LVM strip. Yeah, we have strip. Cool stuff. Let's zoom links that for a test. And quickly 
build this mqtils because I had this patched already for because this is meant for dietlibc and not stripping symbol because it's named in revolution strip error what the heck okay maybe we patch this away after all even though we have and that, that is the difference um amputals there from felix from light it's meant for dietlibc and stuff and the code is also not the greatest fan of that but yeah, so those the greatest security researchers and the loudest bloggers, not sometimes the most amazing code quality. Um, Grab also likes EFI boot manager. I don't know if that is in T2 already. Maybe not because I ignored EFI stuff a little bit the last decade. Find EFI. EFI. Um, boot. Maybe not. Yeah, not. Maybe we package that also. Um, Maybe I need to sit somehow differently though after all this hacking here, also a little bit of cable, so maybe not anyway. So much too, probably need a more comfortable hacking space. Yeah, what what would be fun? So next, because you see this is not the although it is state of the art and everything. Um also what builds squash of S for something? Oh wait a second. We maybe do we fail now all the packages? Damn it, wait a second. Because of the stupid size optimization thing. Ah. What was the last year? Some error, so much too. What? Find utils? Why not find utils? Yeah, number, this is exactly this stupid plugin. Yeah, so much too. This is why I had this O1 there that yeah, we switched back to. Um, I really need to hex this now. Let's let's probably unpack this LLVM. Also, again, if even if we modify this, um, we need another. So you see, you make one change to LLVM and you need to, on, on a really quite good machine, yeah, not outstanding, but quite medium, 12 minutes for edit compile stuff so yeah that was uh, parse config in that that is why I had here if LTO then um, so th what what was the mistake was that I didn't had here I was like mentally thinking this belongs to the conditional uh, condition there uh, conditional thing but of course it didn't so this is why when compiling then like the real optimization otherwise if not compiling but linking then not only use ld LLD, but also o1 to work around this stupid bug but i really um let's do two um yeah let's um Let's delete all the build musical arrows here. So much to yeah, you only when streaming live always the details. You tell the details in camera and then you forget about them. But this is also really this is silly, right? Why has nobody from the um, LLVM ceiling team ever? And I think there even was a bug report. If I when I Google this, I think I saw a bug report about this, and then it was like, yeah, not important to change anyway. Um, Drew Devold and some others are writing a tiny code implementation side project, still halfway through, but could be fun, even contribute. Um, yeah, so the, the fun I wanted actually is to say, so I really want to get in more. Although this is like bleeding edge, like who is doing ceiling musical. Well, musical, some ceiling, some, but both and everything. And yeah, certainly, by the way, I actually maybe, so this works now here. Yeah, so this works good. Maybe we already compiled two things. So grab two just for the test. So this is, of course, parallel making use of our spare configure cycles here because I've not yet tested whether uh, Python, what do we not have Python yet? Or do we have not the Zoom link? Um, much to building something manually. Wow, ADM F list 
Python. Now we have Python, then we probably don't have a Python, but did I not? I thought I changed the default zoom link to zoom, zoom, zoom link to Python now. Change that to create one in here L in Python. It's not fixed Python away, it's in fixed. Wait a second, why is this in what the heck? Fixed Python lib dear hard coded passes. What the heck? Why is this? Linking only done in that. You kidding me? That explains why that doesn't work though. So. Post make. Okay, do we have a post make? So, um, so I I like more personally. So probably I've not done I've not written this file because T two certainly. Plenty of hundred more contributors than myself, although the Debian people still frequently call it differently. I prefer this functions directly to the hook. So post make, post makes, and you also see that it's used and modules are yes here. And then we just move the zoom linking to ln. Didn't directly see that. And then max is to post make for the sim link to Z, right? Also, whatever. Uh, also, um, more global, I prefer like the most important global stuff first. Ah, come on. And so that is like, yeah, run, uh, run this Python thing not. And then, then the less important stuff. Um, I would actually even go as far as um, most of this stuff should be there, but maybe for another time. Usually I, d I don't like to change too much randomly, but um, do we compile there? Yes, I know that compiles much better. Um, yeah, let's, let's test over drop two. Um, speaking about so this core utils, I want, uh, again, a quite state of the art and stuff, but I, this is microkernel stuff. I want to do a little more modern, different, not like temple OS insane, but like more production ready, usable. And not only do I prefer microkernel for more stability and developer friendliness, but also I had the vision there of more just in time compilation as, because as you see, this is compilation and optimization. Even so even I optimize it only generic, like good old fashioned first, Atlon 64 and I would really prefer if we could compile once and like Java but any code but like Java run it everywhere and even have like transmitter code morphing have the stuff um, compiled. We have great success in our company extra code with our products with Lua um, that of course has a cannot create binary file absolute address works with absolute addresses cannot create binary file whether whether nothing works for absolute addresses, what the heck? <sighs> yeah, then unfortunately switch out. And you so to finish this sentence always when I get continue then. Um, I would rather write like core utils in some more just in time way. I we don't need we have already the BSD tools and busybox and amp utils and core utils and uh, the BSD stuff that everyone including Mac OS and Dragonfly BSD uses, and I don't want another C implementation of those core utils. So what I would rather do is uh, either write a couple of handful tools just for some testing in Lua, which is quite high level and still performant, or alternatively not to reinventing each and every wheel. We are inventing already two wheels here, I guess. The test for some more jitted microkernel multi-server system and just in-time compilation. Um, 
Lua, of course, being relatively limited to Lua. And my idea was there to reuse other people's work. One usable thing certainly would be like WebAssembly, although it's not the most matching stuff, but you could even, not only does it have direct support from LLVM, so I would not, I, I have some ideas for my own virtual machine stuff, but I don't want to spend another year just writing that. If we want to base on other people's work, we could make use of LLVM and Rust, for example, and other um, infrastructure surrounding stuff. And for example, as a proof of concept, start with WebAssembly, like have WebAssembly kind of low-level command line stuff and use those established components. Um, of course, you cannot just use it, right? Because on WebAssembly, you don't have Unix system calls, but that would be our work of adding abstract system IOCTL stuff like to have like read and write and this stuff um, in the VM so that the binary doesn't have to know anything. Even in a C binary for glibc, it doesn't need to know too much. Just that if you compile this natively, all the structures changes. So the time and dir entry and all those structures might be slightly different between alpha and x86 and PowerPC and ARM and MIPS and stuff. So the, this would be one thing the VM would need to care of that it has like one portable, like 64 bit something IOCTL abstraction stuff and all the other stuff is jitted. That would allow you, if we make this working, even in the end it doesn't need to be WebAssembly, could then also be some our JIT assembly, something, whatever. But this would allow for compiling ones and exactly avoiding like this if you want to make this make use of your latest AVX 512, you need to recompile. And my vision would also be like similar to Java, just better because Java wasn't the most amazing. Um, for you who Linux would, in my opinion, be quite cool. And again, because if this would eventually be, first we could even run this on Linux, right? Later on our multi-server microkernel micro stuff. Um, could even use drivers, right? So in my opinion, pretty cool that um, not from sensor drivers like your temperature to um, more advanced stuff. Um, and I've personally done this. We have USB driver in Lua, works amazing. And other people certainly also have done this. Not only is there on Linux user space, libusb stuff, but with this uh, vert PCI vert pass through stuff, um, user space virtual IO stuff is IOMMU. You do even do this each time you pass a GPU to QMU, you're exactly using user space driver stuff with IOMMU pass through stuff. Why is this failing? Core dumped, uh, damn it, I had this. So something rebuilt and now everything is core dumping. I had this actually um, earlier. So this is also some, the last time this happened, and there you see a little bit of rough patches. The last time this happened, this went away with rebuilding, uh, the cross compiled rebuilding because some, so maybe this is actually we. Anyway, now we oh, no, actually we could check this um, with the log files. Let's let's take a quick look. Anyway, my thought was finished with this just-in-time compiler stuff. Anyway, and um, this is why I would rather do something more outstanding than just writing another C implementation of this stuff. Um, since when did it fail? We should have here. Yeah, so this was yeah lip, like lip. Maybe, yeah, actually here, this is, we rebuilt this natively and it started failing, I guess. Let's see if no com... Maybe it's even because it's overwriting its own binary, like failing, failing only because it's not atomically enough overwriting its own binary or something of that sort. I think probably this fixed it. Yeah, so you see some small glitches that we need to eventually debug and figure out. And yeah, so much only here live on YouTube having some build failures. So let's delete here again. Probably compiler RT should hopefully be safe. Set it anyway, not build. Drop two, we need to analyze. And yeah, this was maybe the failure. Let's this was only shared file, this we can delete, open SSL, whatever, we need to take a look. I would hope most of them rebuilt now, most were only, wait a second, what is it now? Compiler RT failed again, maybe, hmm, it's something broken again, or slightly surprised that this fails, no, does it, no, it rebuilds the same failing thing all over again, does it segfault or, 
didn't get sec fault or whatever or throw an exception though. Yeah, so you see the esoteric stuff few other people use and nothing really works as it should. Probably, let's see comments in the audience. Um, and group like, so if you boot my child, we do this in the second trying to, is it to stick, but it fails. Iso to, Iso to stick is for all the uh, ISOs based on group one. You shouldn't do this for, um, what, what do you do now? So the, you can, you should only be able to copy the, so the ISO, ISO to stick is for old ISO, legacy ISOs with grub one, don't need to do this. Um, and trying to run from um, the EFI, you probably should just best use the EFI image and um, do you have maybe a second PC that you could test boot it there if this is just one graphic glitch somewhere or um, so what so we then to debug grub or stuff we unfortunately need to temporarily turn out config default no, default user let's see what's up with grub Um, yeah, if you boot manager, let's see where this package is coming from. Do I have a Firefox here? Somewhere apparently not. Um, the best thing is not to try random stuff, right? So you should probably use, we should focus on the EFI image. Again, the, the x86 is running master boot record. You cannot just directly copy this due to nature of master boot record. And we should better figure out what was wrong with this? Maybe someone, someone second wants to try this, or just try a second PC. I hope it's not the same one um, to see uh, if that we have the same EFI boot manager later. Um, where is this included? In which yeah, also you Google it and get some freaking Debian. Just one where in this. The problem is if sometimes if. Yeah, you see the, the amazing Debian packages. You not even get an amazing. Um, if you put MG, this is really annoying. The stuff hosted at Debian usually not having a proper website. Only the Debian packages. This is super annoying, which might explain why here is something by the way development tree. It's slightly annoying when the first hit is something. Yeah, let's hope that is official one. Red Hat boot. I would hope so. It is. So let's see um, what's up with Grub. Yeah. becomes like is it slightly annoying how many drop frames zero drop frames so I also wish this uh, would be more command not found only sections text so this is apparently maybe like object dump or whatever Probably it once can be uh, not found. Only section text. Most likely something like object dump. Is this, this is in confines. This is three, two. Let's maybe just copy that. Uh, of course, it doesn't copy everything. Now we don't have vi down. Not immediately visible. Let's enable tempfs again because build speed. Um, user 
bin LDM Object Dump Yeah, no way. Somehow, yeah, you editing this in parallel sometimes not the very best idea. Let's see, that, did this solve something? Yeah, this is auto reconfiguring. Yeah. Okay, let's see cache. Okay. Yeah, ThinkPad in the meantime, after so many hours of live streaming, becoming a little bit. Hold on, Danny, Renny is adding the final touches and required patches to T2. Yeah, also, Danny has some initial ISO boot uh, issue stuff. So, this ISO should already mostly. So, adding this EFI boot manager stuff, of course, not fixing the ISO boot issue there of Danny, but um, also, this ISO is this more special musal ceiling stuff. Um, I so your grub is configuring finally. Let's see. Uh, there is something settled. So this is of course much more amazing, but this also failed. Cannot create binary files. So this is again wasn't object dump whatever it wanted. Um, at least we didn't. Uh. Also, I need NVI really. Um, probably really should. Build some, actually, maybe V, NVI, a little bit in what, what's it? Do we have it there? As a stupid NVI, this is this new NVI needs BDB. This is what probably failed previously, didn't really. Also, this new NVI is really annoying so much too. I, when people tell me, yeah, but this NVI is old or your favorite packet, package is not updated for so long. Uh, yeah, BDB. So, yeah, thank you very much for that shit. Um, the issue is that with so I didn't update NVI in quite some time and then just recently I was curious and thought yeah maybe let's see if there is a new update updated this and not only does it need now because initially I didn't realize it I just built it on a reference build with everything there so it found this BDB and used it so whatever I guess the previous NVI maybe didn't use BDB I guess it's using this for the undo database thing really annoying in my opinion um, but this is also really annoying. What I usually did is like VI some script and run it and this is a new NVI because maybe related to this undo database shit or whatever, it is opening the file like exclusive. And then what I really hated on Windows, I really hate on Windows when you, you edit a file or something and then you can't run it um, because it's saying text file busy. And now I have the same on my own Linux. It is really hilarious. Exactly the things that I, one of the things I hate most with Windows, I have now myself, I edit a T2 script file and I need to close the editor to be able to run the shell script. Like seriously, what the heck? Um, this is also a new issue. Um, maybe soon I should give up on NVI and just use Vim because let's hope that that doesn't have that exclusive file open issue. It's hilarious. Um, Yeah, I only meant, I didn't mean for Musil ceiling to have this working, I meant for Denny to really use, because if normal users should maybe not install it yet, because getting Xorg and Firefox and all the other fun stuff, or even using Chrome certainly, is not the easiest thing there. Um, what else did we want? So maybe in parallel we already built here the Linux kernel because I'm actually curious if that will build and link and everything without all the bin utils in there. So probably some more failure to come here for this already way too super long live stream to start with already 16 o'clock. How you can spend your whole Sunday live on YouTube. Let's see how many people have unsubscribed already. Yeah, obviously, maybe. Hey, nobody, one new subscriber. Yay, welcome. Thank you, everyone. So BDB at least worked. And let's try this NVI thing. And um, yeah, by the way, probably so soon this will be one of the last permanent super long Musil Ceiling T2 live streams. Soon, probably, hopefully, back to more regular programming. And also, have you ever tried to program yourself undo redroads? Actually, quite a complex pattern to program. 
uh, exactly why this NVI might be using database for that now. And yeah, Linux kernel in check bin. Uh, you're building kernel with non red line compiler. Uh, what are you sure? But maybe this is only because. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, then let's continue with normal stuff and uh, take a look on this red pooling crap another time. Although it worked previously with ceiling, so maybe this is only some object uh, object dump kind of check, whatever. Um, I wonder if I, by the way, did I zoom link nm user bin? No, I zoom link nm, so whatever. It might be missing there. Let's see what we find in grub. Yeah, must specify to create database segmentation fault. I wonder slightly why this happened because on another system this NVI crap works. Um, probably really time to give up on this. I, mean, I used NVI for a small VI implementation and now it's also borked. So yeah, thanks, thanks for really breaking each and every editor you can find. Uh, slightly annoying to do this with less. like sealing something. Hmm. So anyway, this line I would think maybe we just open it with a systems VI drop. Produce assembly code um, underscore after compilation use score. Doesn't really look what this was looking at, right? Oops. Text. Let's or should we did I use that line or hmm. should be that line? Somehow this is strange, doesn't really match too much with what we were looking at. Oh, also, mm, did I recently rebuild Muse? Um, yeah, Muse. Yeah, of course I rebuilt it. Oops. Yeah, did we break that again? Uh, comments in the audience. Installing. No worries, just trying to think myself. Um, yeah, best only use the AMD64 image and if you and figure out why this is, it booted for me though. Um, Christian, I had a look over at DistroWatch. I don't understand how people change the distros back and forth like that all the bloody time. Every three months or something, there's a new one at place one. Interesting. Certainly, next we need to try to get into that score back again. Um, I wonder, did we 
leaves the Linux. Oh, this was a tempfs. Darn it. Why does this not match? Is it coming from another configure file? By the way, tell us what is on place, first place right now. Maybe I just um, grip for this here, I guess. Yeah, object dump, ta uh, dump, target object dump, why is it, or does it, does it want this with an arch brief, or is it target object, so object dump was my first guess, why does it still not work? Hmm. Usually, usually T2 creates zim links during cross compilation and bootstrap to that. Let's build Musil. It's only slightly annoying that rebuilding that takes already a minute or so. It's all this configure, reconfigure crap. that fixes that. Still everything enabled, not really sure what I probably... Okay, then, then let's clean all the stuff here and then it's with our tempfs and at least we have the new build state in case it's still. Also not bash, but crop too. So, let's see. Stage 2 does not mount from USB. Any advice? Okay, so you made progress, right? Um, so you might need to select the right device. Have you done that? Um, MX Linux, that's a, don't tell me that is a, good to see, um, you might have to select your right local device, like zero for local device and then whatever the USB device might be. Uh, I hope you copied all the file names so that they are not mangled. Um, MX Linux, one of those. Trying to look like Windows, Mac OS thing, Mint Manio or something. I'm just whining all. Um, so what happened here now? Still didn't work. What the heck? Maybe also try to build the Linux kernel. Need to debug that. It's 
probably similar important. Uh, this is really uh, boring when, uh, of course, it could be that this object dump doesn't support all options, but it's of course super annoying when you want to get stuff done and then it's like configured doing something with variables that look obvious but aren't. Let's see if we are lucky the Linux kernel was object dump related. Let's see, so this is still configuration. But we did I not change this as unused command. I thought I changed it somewhere. How can always something? Why is use LLD? I thought I used there dash C for something. Yeah, not red Pauline. Um, I really wonder why this worked before though. Wait, I did I not? I did I grab the wrong? Can't make this up. I thought I grabbed this something. or S. Compile or S. Or did I forgot this over? Let's see some more S. Okay, CC. Here's the small details when you work on this esoteric alternative stuff and then it just uh, doesn't build. will greet us in a second. Yeah, just after you spend so much time with Z or with Musil, then you spend even more time with removing bin utils. Red, uh, let's see, what was it? Where exactly do they check this and what do they use to check that? Arch x86. Yeah, no VI here because fucking NVI. Um, Additionally, avoid generating expensive indirect jumps. So somehow the red pull line, red pull line C flex are empty and uh, yeah, amazing, nice too. No jump tables. Hmm, that is nice to debug in make files, isn't it? Red point safe flags. I 
slightly wonder why that worked with um, why that worked before in a bin utils build. Mostly interested if it has a chance to link, makes no sense to debug around services stuff if it doesn't link anyway. Wait a second, there was bin util support. I saw there's something scrolling by. Config x86.82 is enabled but no bin util support. What the heck? LD object copy here. The problem is so LD is okay. So apparently one of those stuff does fail here, whichever of those. So so much to our today's target and dream to have a bin utils less system. <coughs> This is now always stop here with something probably or manual messing around here. So yeah, whatever they need. So it's a little bit annoying that yeah, the both uh, yeah also make files hiding all the details, right? That you don't even quite see. Ah, this is ah, this is exactly said. Okay, let's see if this is only. Oh. This is this exactly two API, uh, API that nearly nobody is using anyway. Maybe something for another live stream and waste of weekend stuff. Let's see if that builds. Also, I thought LLVM ceiling head support. Wait a second, is this again enabled? Why is this again? Oh, I probably mistyped this. No, I did not mistype this. So let's see. comments in the audience um, oh, again broken because probably each time I go in and out of a unable to execute command AS does not exist what I thought I had AS
Or maybe I only linked AR. AR I linked, didn't I? Yeah, so much to maybe I should have instantly implemented properly, properly, completely. It's a usual recurring theme here. If you don't do it properly, then it bites you into your S just a couple of hours later. Let's see. Unknown command line argument dash dash 64. Hmm, I have the feeling you cannot get away with binutil so far. That is really a shame. So much to, yeah, building with ceiling, but not with out binutil. That is really, yeah, this is also a recurring theme from earlier, from a couple of hours ago. Um, the more esoteric options and what not you use, then you are less flexible with the choice of all your stuff there. Um, maybe one more try with grub and see how that is going. So Linux kernel maybe not without more tinkering. So you've only seen this here live on this channel, grub2. And um, yeah, this, this is really a pity that is only, well, just like the previous time in April, when the other C-Lang stuff was not yet as ready. Now we are down to, yeah, C-Lang works, but still some assembler object dump stuff in LLVM, apparently. Uh, what did I build here, by the way? Oh, this is the build. That is hopefully the, if I didn't, let's double check that before we watch here, yeah, this Grub2. Let's see what occurs here now with Grub2 after we have AS and what is this, this object dump stuff? But, um, yeah, super highly, but this is the difference between some BSDs and Linux and Linux everything, not only 10,000 more drivers, but also everything so much more esoterically optimized and set up that you have such issues. Here we have still the same issue. Unfortunately, that is really annoying. And um, yeah, still no NVI. That is really slightly ridiculous here. It's the only occurrence here though. Target object copy. Don't really see it here. Defined. Anyway, it's, it's often you wonder working on this kind of stuff, you wonder how this ever could have worked. Because when you take a look at this, you don't even see immediately where it's defined here. Wait a second, is this actually is this maybe using is this default argument? Actually not sure, could be, isn't it? Ah, this is default argument, so if not defines an object copy, but object wait a second, did I not or don't tell me I Links this with a cop with a typey a typo. Ah, oh, wait a second. Dump? Did I only? Ah, object dump. I only link. Okay. Wait a second. Object copy. Let's see. What did I had in the Linux kernel? Was it also object copy, or maybe there's still hope? Maybe we grab 
to test it first. Um, that looks better, doesn't it? Okay, one more try. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, this is also yeah, this is a little bit concurrent handbox X at zero is whatever. Also, yeah, if you boot manager not forgotten, you see here we are multitasking capable. This is pass or so package. Where would that be? Maybe we put this in x86 just because. So that is disk. Yeah, also only down it. I have the feeling. Um, Touch uh, keyboard could be slightly better. The only thing that ThinkPad totally amazing, except oh. maybe the keys if not the best. It's not a mechanical keyboard, so what do you want? Probably only those and maybe ARM. Tell me if that works on ARM 64. Maybe we remove a little bit stuff like that. So Hey, drop two build with object dump. Finally, maybe we have a chance. Maybe or um, also probably I will continue that build, and then we only need to figure out the news kernel. Maybe that also works magically now. Maybe with that object copy was this object copy or it's the red puller and stuff. Did I or did I clean this already? Okay, I cleaned this already. Then manual Linux. So, oops, text. Oops. Emacs has a really nice uh, wrapping feature, maybe VI or Vim 2. Probably not VI, probably only Vim. Something that's hard, but yeah, for. We should have Googled it in the meantime, but whatever. Um, add the specific client to modify the Intel extension somewhere. Was too long, obviously. So, author, do they have an author here somewhere? Still? Hmm. Copying, maybe. No GPL. It's really annoying if there's not a clear author somewhere. Maybe in the spec. Where would be the author be? Here's something user config now the sample download. Does not exist. Okay, so they have actually. Okay, they have x86 and ARM. So we can add one more. Don't really see an author here though. Mm. Open source in 2019, can't even. Anyway, can someone give me the author for this, please? Thank you. 
uh, URL is, however, I think there was a proper URL, wasn't there? Like, probably, let's just take this then. By the way, how many drop frames? Hey, zero. So, author to do and download. Yeah, no red pulling. We try this in a second because we probably have here only some errors because of these failures. Ah, darn it, that is not slightly what I wanted. Damn it, so much time. No Musil rebuild and hmm. so um, if you boot manager because this was mbutils did compiler RT what happened with it before the last time? I should stop messing here with my debugging. VI Linux. So red line. So that's still whatever. But what I really wonder if that this um, that this built on the Inutils based system, so maybe there's still something missing. Let's see. I think you need expert to disable red pool line. I think probably are not export if this. Hey, that is exceptionally proper download URL on that. Do we have uh, no new comments in the audience? Maybe. and check version URL Z1 also we probably could intelligently hard code that therefore oh wait a second also wanted boot miniature arm2 apparently maybe Whatever. Open SSL is doing something. But still doesn't say it still says bin utils, but um, all oh, right, this was assembler command failed, not object deal though. Too many arguments. Mm. Oh, yeah, assembler wise, there still needs to unfortunately be so Linux kernel. So the only last thing right now, Linux kernel, unfortunately, that is really slightly set. Um, everything else is in pretty good shape. I wonder if grub would work here. What download doesn't work? Why not? Ah, oh, e missing. 
as it is slightly set, so then the nearly only thing holding us up right now is the Linux kernel that is of course super set after a whole day of that work. No new comments in the audience, so for some arbitrary reason. So, um, yeah, what do we do now? So, yeah, this is slightly inconvenient, um, especially as far as if we have been here. So, basically, nearly everything else works. Um, compiler TCS FS utils, what is that doing? So, M utils was just the. Uh, also, we had. That let's build that natively if we put manager. Um, as it is as so often really set already so much time spent on all of this kind of fun stuff. How does it want to be built? If we and then the only thing is as usual, really currently is a Linux kernel. How does it want to be built? What do they they have just here make file? What if we do or what? Must this distribution reserved if he subdirectional name stop if he reserved if he system subdirectional name I don't know what would it be boot if he or what fix file or make if he dear boot if he or where do you want to have it if you were no such file or directory, thank you very much. What does it want? If he something. Hmm. So this is if he something, right? Find if he this if he lib if he. There, what's it? The alio and. What was this? Maybe we can already if we put manager disk. Or append make up. Why do other distributions have that? Maybe you want to leave me comment now in the comments below. Um, how many build errors are we even? 58 to go, yeah. If we wouldn't have our debug symbol O1 optimized kernel, we could have already long had that. Um, slightly still wonder, ceiling. slightly wonder where this dash s is coming from but whatever or maybe we have this at ea oh, here we have it gnu efi maybe it wants it for efi var dot h Yeah, so much to everything just builds and yeah, so that at least builds and then boot manager. Hmm. Ah, here it was, probably.
Oh, CMake. Okay, find CMake. Okay, this still doesn't work wherever it once if he was from. Thank you very much for that, Jess. Yeah, you just add a new package because, yeah, and then of course it doesn't um, have whatever, wherever that is coming from. So maybe we just commit this not working for now if we put. Wonder who is also Zoom. Oh, yes, also. Oh, good I am. So this person all C and H files then probably let's patches, patches and then get the author for now. you build so for me anyway. Um, yeah, I'm slightly tempted, so of course, um, between studies, hope it's been be between studies, hope it's been good here. Thanks for asking. So uh, basically, we got nearly everything built, although we have mostly only smaller stuff still building here, which by the way, I wonder. Hello, yeah, control some of the ThinkPad. You need to press the keys a little bit more than I would want it to, but membrane, whatever stuff here, right? Config, Musil. Yeah, let's re enable this. A lot of progress um, on the ceiling, musel, whatsoever front. Um, a lot of cleaner stuff still, as usual. There is, if you have 3000 packages and all this alternative infrastructure stuff, the LTO stuff, we also tested Syn LTO, which basically just works. Not yet benchmarked that, but uh, also even packages added. And. Um, well, small stuff like Mbutil that certainly can just be fixed by patching the, the stripping away there. Um, so whatever. And um, the biggest thing, of course, unfortunately, so everything built so far, well, except small stuff, whatever. But the Linux kernel, of course, one huge showstopper that is, of course, really uncool. But what were I thinking? Obviously, recurring theme here. What is this? Grof. Can't initialize const char l value of type const char string compare file name. Mm, yeah, probably can also be patched. Slightly wonder why this didn't happen in the previous build. So, uh, one thing I probably really should patch. Um, and I also wonder if I should, well, I, I, my goal was to spin an ISO image, but without the Linux kernel, certainly that doesn't work. So something for another weekend, I wonder how easily the, the rest can be patched. Maybe um, slightly tempted to get the ISO image as it in operation because it is much cleaner now. Um, yeah, so much to making, but this is the risk of doing something experimental like without bin utils. Uh, although I'm surprised how much worked, I'm yeah not that surprised. The Linux kernel didn't build with that then. Um, how many are we have we left? What is with this? FS utils? Maybe we just broke this something. Yeah, this is just an empty log for whatever manual thinking around. This is when you change the sandbox and back and unmount. And sometimes um, this is voice condition. You should normally not do it like that at home. 
Um, what is with those other two guys here? Maybe one is also... Uh, yeah, this is also just the manual messing around. And what is the other one? The CXX error is... Uh, this is maybe two also. I think we may, actually maybe one I've done intentionally. I had the feeling after we, we, we rebuilt one of those, we got there whatever corruption also here. Why do neighbors... Well, but neighbors always need to be loud, right? Especially for people who YouTube stream. Um, let's see. Yeah, as usual, I could not spend the whole work and try to get the Linux kernel assembled with a LLVM assembler, but maybe that is a larger project as a whole. Uh, also, yeah, Python we probably can commit. I changed the. Um, except some spacing here and there, but the big change is, of course, the. Uh, Zoom linking there correctly. Zoom link Python 3 to Python. Some small. And some sorted. Just moved to sort can also just and sorted. Or some, yeah, whatever, correctly, zoom link, Python 3 to Python, better sorted some lines of code, whatever, for the hooks, and get some idea. Um, yeah, that is really pity. That would have been a really cool system. I mean, this is really only the Linux kernel. Um, could actually, do we find something? LLVM AS Linux kernel. Using compile Linux kernel become popular with LLVM tools. So in the assembler, LSM is in go to. Hmm. So not really. What is it? TCP wrappers. Oh, okay. Um, actually, this was funny. I saw there. Something, let's see, this might be TCP wrappers. Um, oh no, this was not what I. There is some error generated. Um, this is probably using some old fashioned stuff here. That is error null void. Oh, this is actually a low hanging fruit that we have, but we have also use of undeclared. Here is this an error, hmm. yeah, whatever. It's an unclean code of the decades of open source stuff. Anyway, we are mostly through uh, one of the, well, we had six and seven hours KDE GNOME live streams. The funny thing is 178 playbacks. Amazing stuff, I hope not too many. Um, but yeah, just if people, why did you not just spin? Also, yeah, experimental research, but why did you not just spin an ISO image? Um, there's always something. Also, yeah, this is one of the more experimental stuff, but even that worked 99% of the time. Just really said that the last 1% is a Linux kernel. Um, the GPG error probably has even that build. So. Slightly wonder how large the ISO image, how many. I mean, now we streamed so long, we could also wait a couple of more. Uh, also, some failures actually still. Compiler RT, what does it still want? Ah, this might be some sanitization stuff. That, oh yeah, this is okay, this was known. I, Quite, I disable this already. Um, it doesn't find some etcfs gibberish, something of glibcism. Yeah, fs tab h like seriously, such a header existed. Um, this should be fixable by just disabling the sanitization library, whatever stuff for now. But somehow this doesn't disable. I also had this in the previous build, whatever. And um, lib whatever error. What was that? libcxx. ABI, what does that want? Something similar. I mean, it's of course funny that uh, exception 
file. What the heck? That is probably just using the wrong include. Because why is this not finding that? That is funny. Because it should be there. There. I'm pretty sure that is there where we specify it to be. Here at that. But yeah, according to the Debian people, always everything just builds, nothing to see. Keep calm and carry on and stuff like that. Except, yeah, it is there. There you see um, we disable sanitizers, they don't disable. We specify the search path, it doesn't search path there. But yeah, upstream is amazing. But again, this I could probably fix. Don't really uh, know. I'm probably go for a walk and enjoy the sunshine. Too long of live stream anyway. Um, maybe I later even take a look if we can get this uh, Linux to this is Linux to build. Although I don't don't have the highest hopes there. That might be a major project. The only other thing I really would want to patch LLVM to um, not error out with plugin options for OS and OZ. That is really stupid. That this is not upstream. Also, the LLVM people say it doesn't have effect. But why does it support? Why does it grok 02 and 01 and if it doesn't have any effect anyway, if it's already pre-compiled and optimized and that is really silly. Also, I would expect the link time optimization also to have an option for size, speed and whatnot. But uh, yeah, what do I know? Um, I wonder why argument used during compilation. I thought, where is it even coming from? I thought I... Did I somehow have a... Develop GCC parse. This is only GCC because we share this to so compile or as compile or as ah, silly. Of course, there's some other pretty short type that so much too. Where is it even coming from? I don't even immediately see it here in the code. Wait a second, why is here still? Ah, oh, this is probably I edit this compile compile or S. It looks correct. We still have that. What was it building right now? The last thing. Let's see. Do I get this again here or No, you really don't get it so wherever that came from then, I guess. Okay, how many? Um, okay, some of those are known, uh, like PPP and GPM. This or GLIP is not known, but GLIP might be um, our lovely. Yeah, so the, the major pieces, wildcard globbing there for LD file names as we like it, NT2 and LVM. The other stuff is small random stuff that's not really worth to talk too much about. And that was probably rewritten that again. Right? No, we don't. Why is, did it then fail? Or was this log file already older? Var log. Ah, Mason. What, what is with Mason? But Mason build. Wait, what is here the... Ah, Ninja. What is this Ninja? Ah, this might be Python or something. Ah, Ninja failed indeed. Maybe no Python or something of whatever member named instead error. No member named st times sec disk interface. Hmm. Pretty sure that Built with this funny. Pretty sure that built the other build. Hmm. Strange stuff. But yeah, this is probably also patchable. 
Anyway, I hope you learned something and not too many people unsubscribed and um, I hope you enjoy the live right here. What have you? Sharp Auctures. Ah, it was a Sharp Auctures MP30 netbook. Efficient cost me a lot of money on eBay. Eventually sold it after it had my fun. I was reading. Um, yeah, someone wrote they had the fastest transmitter fishing. Actually, the Sharp, but the MP30 I didn't like so much. What I wanted to have a little bit back in the day was a Sharp Auctures M, uh, MM or M20 or so that even had, uh, although back in the day he had 1024 display or something of that stupid sort, but um, it even had back in the day um, some USB docking stations. It was an interesting concept. I very few, like nearly other, other PC had this or laptop that you could plug in your laptop. By the way, here is this compilation argument. Why does it have here this use? LD again, this is hilarious. Except as procs, why do some builds have this and others not? Um, and yeah, you could plug this in the docking station and use it as an external SSD um, USB device. That was pretty cool. Um, append, but actually here it has append as conditional. Okay, but this is conditional this. Um, why would, oh wait a sec, no, here is no S, why? But here it is, argument unused during compilation. What the heck is going on here? Use LD, LLD. Hmm. But this is only if. Hmm. Strange stuff. There's something that we can buy the way, but it's with Ninja. Did it again fail or... Yeah, did it again fail. Thank you very much. Yeah, this ID is still strange, although it's no like also really much nicer, cleaner build, whatever. Still off a little bit of this process ID stuff there. <sighs> oh, I Justine dropped her iPhone 11. Oh, you're so sad. <sighs> yeah, only on this channel we didn't drop our iPhone 11 that we don't have. Anyway, um, hope you learned something. Probably time to hey, zero drop frames. The Wi-Fi doesn't suck too much today. But what is mostly sucking is anyway the Intel wireless firmware. Quite some stuff done, not everything as usual. By the way, can we let this run to the bitter end? How many packages oh, do we have? 23 to go. Hmm. Yeah, Ninja, I certainly need to patch. I really wonder, I think I have the old build in here, but maybe this was an old Ninja actually. Um, if I built this in April or something, it didn't. So I have here still old var ABM in Ninja. I oh know this also error, but maybe we had, yeah, it was the same. Okay, interesting. Also, for whatever reason, probably we built an old version. Yeah, probably I try to patch this in later. So a couple of, actually I can try to add this to my to-do. So major, major things anyway are um, we really need to patch LLVM for plug-in opt OS set and we also should patch Ninja and what was the other thing? Uh, we've also really, actually Ninja later, uh, we also really need to do LD something um, for user there for the loader. So yeah, even though plenty of weeks spent of this and amazing much nicer, cleaner, amazing stuff. It's really, there's always something, yeah, something on the RSX, on the GMA500. Um, I want to go a little bit more into more innovative mode, like WebAssembly or uh, microkernel stuff, like really, really innovative stuff. But yeah, this you see how much time does it take. But anyway, we have a lot of data points, much more understanding much cleaner stuff, although still some stray warnings, like I still don't quite get why. Yeah, here's a warning does not appear. Why does it give the warning on installing whatever strange relinking this lib tool stuff or whatever it's doing. Yeah, even if we wait now, maybe we wait just a couple of moments. I'm actually mostly interested in how large um, the, it's, um, 
how large the ISO will become, although the, the Linux kernel is missing, but everything else, nearly everything else should be in there. Um, also, maybe, fun fact, maybe we really switch from screen to Tmux by default, not really sure, but anyway. Let's see, comments on and see, yeah, your last chance, a couple of more minutes until this build is finally done. I also wonder what is the battery, the uh, battery is also coming to an end. How long did we stream on that battery? Uh, two hours. Yeah, so the two batteries last similar amount of time. And well, we usually want to use a DC coupler there. Also, T is mostly empty though. Yeah, that's it mostly for today. Slightly less comprehensive as usual when you start and then you find this was missed optimized and this build takes forever and then one hour is gone and this and that. Um, yeah, but maybe for the future, again, I hope eventually my second live stream recovers. Of course, hilarious, I have this more live stream and then it just copyright strike. That, yes, this is a sick with this time zone stuff. Um, actually, maybe, fun fact, we quickly Google. Um, we could also, what was it, Efi Vars H, where is it coming from? Uh, Efi Vars it is a separated package. Are you kidding me? Uh, thank you very much for... I really had to separate package for that. There is, or is, wait a second, is it a package? Oh, but I think it was. It looked like a yeah, if you were. Yeah, that is uh, mm, two and libraries for manipulating. Yeah, of course, it's a separate package. So, packaging that. Then also for if boot manager and the other thing I wanted to check what was it so much to? Ah, yeah, Musil sick. Where is it coming from? Build roots, uh, not so, yeah. Setting time zones for use ellipse, no, it was, mm. and Musil and not. Yeah, because this is also otherwise part of Glipsy, so wherever that should come from, if you use Musil, something of that sort. How many more? 11 to go, yay! Yeah, AMD or Intel still would be amazing if they would... Uh, hey, a new subscriber, amazing stuff. The first day I excessively live stream for a uh, marathon stuff and nobody unsubscribed yet. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Uh, vlog, did I not fix vlog or did I... Actually, I've once quirked this really, but maybe I... You know what, I think... Wait a second, why is there... Ah, is this built in the old one and what is with the new one? That is X open source Marco warning previous declaration F truncate warning ah Groff this is only Groff and Groff didn't probably we should fix Groff sooner than later I cannot initialize const char no oh my God where is the first error even please include config h first what the heck are you completely kidding me as I said, new version. Always, if there are esoteric, strange build errors, and I always hope that is there a new version, but no, there isn't. No, thank you very much. Um, yeah, include config h first. I wonder if this is it even has already hotfix musel replace sign bits. What the heck? Either without the patch, if something fixed in the meantime, or oops, or hello. Ah, also config best with yeah. That is, I think that is a membrane stuff. What is now also why is the stuff here in the beginning? How did that happen? Um, Otherwise, include config first could also be parallel build stuff that it doesn't, that it only built accidentally and now stuff is more snappy running, whatever. 
and it's erroring out randomly due to power labels, amazing stuff of not parallel safe make file stuff. Do we not have anyone still watching or no new comments in the audience? Let's see, configuring, running, make, fail to create, growth fund, whatever. And yeah, that is still not cool. We could, so then, move hotfix back and no parallel or something, but yeah, not really. But this is a result of decades of GNU only code and then um, yeah, stuff randomly doesn't build with stuff is yeah obviously the old-fashioned crop maybe I even it's time to not build legacy crop anymore probably maybe hey subversion build a to go and counting yeah really looking forward to the ISO size the previous ISO was relatively large with all the hacking around and LLVM ceiling being twice in there Let's see, hopefully it doesn't take too long, whatever it's still building, and TFS 3G. Yeah, also, also, I only include this by default for data recovery reasons, if you ever wanted to. I think actually once I actually uh, use T2 to unlock some whatever, all right, with my Nokia booklet 3G macOS installation or Windows reinstallation, because um can't install it cleanly, the Windows, because it's defaulting to um, trim operations there and the Pulspo GMA uh, Pulspo uh, hub does not only has parallel ATA and there is a parallel ATA serial ATA bridge on that Nokia booklet board and then you can't install Windows on an SSD because it's defaulting to a trim. Uh, whatever the term is in Windows, it was, I think it was something else with, with, with FS delete, whatever, or so, something. So I even had to boot my Linux and tinker with a registry and disable this to finish the installation of some fun jazz. All the amazing stuff you need. Even Windows can't install flawlessly um, on this esoteric hardware for that. Grub2 also, yes, I know this. Um, that if but you need to build it twice it's the only thing is i don't like the most um but the last iso image is built that way um on x86 we default i'm as i said in the previous live stream on x86 we default to grub to mbr as x86 usually doesn't have afi anyway and for because i don't want to really we can it's not too much of a deal but i want to simplify stuff i don't well simplify simplify with 100 configuration options but i don't um don't um, want to have too many options and also then if you if you build grub two twice not only do you double the build time of grub which might be a couple of minutes and uh, well in, in the grand scheme of schemes not too much but um, you also double the chance of failing something so might, maybe the iffy stuff would build and then with all the regressions then you can't release an ISO because because you built it twice and the non iffy stuff doesn't fail anymore um, let's target Generic package cell uh, grab drop. Do we explicitly have we? Yeah, let's remove the two minimal in grub. Bye bye grub. I personally use grub too already. Well, first I waited really long and then I used it for a really long time mostly for LVM2 stuff as we boot now everything LVM2 and yeah, some of this is only experimental stuff um, yeah, okay I commit this in another day probably so I'm uh, still building whatever how many are left three to go yeah let's so after this build is done um, the Build the ISO, of course I can't really release it because it will not be bootable with the Linux kernel. Uh, maybe later another midnight project I take a look if I if there is some some easy thing to do to get this to, to work there maybe. 
maybe some partially limited kernel with some stuff disabled or something, some legacy, whatever stuff. Time will show what I'm even building here. Actually, I was thinking, so I said already, personally, I don't like this verbose stuff. I mostly only do this, actually, not mostly, I only do this verbose scrolling stuff to have some entertaining background stuff here. I usually use a summary mode without the verbose stuff, but I was thinking maybe I can try to change this because we, um, we wire this out, out of the sandbox with some pipe or something. Um, and I was actually considering to evaluate if it's possible to uh, change those outputs to prepend the package names and if this would scroll by then all the first line. Although the, the only problem is the lines are super long, but anyway you would have every other line if they wrap multiple times, at least have the package name there, that you at least have an idea which package is building that might be helpful actually. Yeah, but uh, yeah, open source in 2019, of course, the builds are usually full with some warnings because why not? Previous definitions, no symbols, warning generated, whatever, all this fun stuff. What are we even building here? Source, elisp, what is this? Guessing, build stuff, get text, or is it get text? C++, hello, Java, wrapper, install, actually, installing quite some. What is it even? Good text, maybe. Hmm, whatever, something you get the idea. So, yeah, some people tune out already. Here yeah, we are reaching. Uh, it was good text, of course. I built it for relatively long. So this is uh, maybe it's only rebuilding curl for some vintage reason that we probably also could. Wait, what? How many to go? This was wrong, obviously. Okay, lib iso burn. I will probably re remove vlog also. The mini build, minimal build certainly can become even smaller. Also, vlog totally vlog totally super small. But I also don't like to have this build error that I don't really spend even more time fixing this esoteric crap. Um, maybe you know what? Maybe I even just remove screen and vlog. You can just rebuild it even on a P3 or Octane. It only builds a couple of minutes. I hope. Anyway. It's just iso burn. What does it want? Um, probably something missing, like a lip burn. Uh, so uh, target generic package cell bootstrap or something lip iso. Or do I have this in? Maybe this is minimal because bootstrap is only working system minimal than the installable system or something. So, lib burn. I would guess let's test build that lib. Yeah, also previously that was only CD records and it was Vodim and it was whatever. Um, and now it's like three or four packages, but yeah, I just hope the total size. Although each time some documentation min page, but no. Nah. Yeah, lib burn that burns now. And uh, what was the other lip is burn? Uh, also probably CD record how you can ruin a perfectly fine project by having strange views and opinions and pissing everyone off that after a couple of well. And also 2019 probably everyone should still address their CD writer with ice uh, with SCSI IDs. I guess was his theme right? I think the Schillers, York Schillers, or Schilling something probably always was like yeah, and device names are evil. You need to specify the SCSI address or whatever bullshit discussion that was back in the day. So yeah, of course, still quite some stuff. Um, why is there build utils not? I should not be present. Yeah, because I disabled bin utils after the build started, and this is why there are still some log files. As you have seen with all the issues, bin utils is not there. It's actually only saying it should not be there. Let's do then build ISO, which again will not be bootable, just to get an idea of the size. Musel, musel. And okay, so this is significantly slower, uh, smaller. So this is 400. There is still um, Musil CD. So this is 422. Let's look up our own ISO image here. That is a DL binary 2019. So that is Musil. Uh, wait a second. We need to compare this with glibc. 
because this one here is, as you see, super large from previous double and triple builds. Messy image, how you shouldn't do it. Gilipsy, so we have 446. Yeah, and we still miss the Linux kernel. So actually, it could be that it is just a tiny little bit smaller and build time actually another day. But even you see how much time does it take, even if I would now benchmark a completely, first of all, this build is not yet totally completely clean. It still has a little bit of manual intervention. It would be fun to benchmark a whole system, GCC, GLIPC versus um, LLVM ceiling musel, but for that state we need to fix the last remaining build errors and right now we can't build the Linux kernel. Um, so that is really set. Maybe after the stream I have the other, wait just a second, to do. We still have so many to do st stuff. Ninja and certainly Linux, unfortunately. Um, maybe let's, maybe I try to hack over this. First I need to check how my wife is doing, but she was phoning with sister and such. So config tempfs, uh, well, exactly what, um, how, what you can do in the time your wife is phoning with the sister, spend four hours hacking on the Linux distribution. Uh, tempfsz and then uh, off because I, I need the sources without tempfs, otherwise it's gone in the memory file system stuff, rom disk, Linux, and then, which by the way, probably do I still have, oh, okay, but Matt, let's clean this. And then, yeah, thanks for watching, hope you learned something. Um, some progress, uh, amazing progress, actually also amazing that you can even build Grub2 and all the other fun stuff without bin utils, the only showstopper now, the Linux kernel, unfortunately. Maybe I can get this um, a little bit hacked. Um, yeah, you're chilling, regularly remembering that name, that's probably not a good sign. Um, in the kernel for if you boot to work, you need if you were support needed, enabled, don't think it was there on that experimental, was it not? Um, let's take a look. Let's break that and um, we probably have the config already installed. Let's, or do we, do we not have, let's see, Musil or we just grab our system one. Boot, okay, config something, it says module though. So I guess it should have been there, I would guess. So maybe mod probe if he was. Um, okay, let's clean that again and build it again. Yeah, so hope you learned something amazing stuff, uh, repeat myself. But even then you see so much progress, so much cleaner, so much cleaned up. Even then still some near like lib x, as I said four hours ago, lib c, uh, lib c++ or uh, this is also a little bit annoying, right? The package name is libc++ or so and or the other way around. Oh, the package name is libcxx CXX because probably file naming stuff and then the library installs like libc++. I really hate such kind of naming reverse conflict stuff. This should, in my opinion, be avoided. But what do I know after 20 years of unsuccessful one-man stuff? Um, Again, I take a closer look, maybe I can, maybe this even builds already for ARM, not because some of the other stuff like ARM and PowerPC is sometimes slightly cleaner, less esoteric, assembly glibberish there, and um, maybe, but I, actually I don't have the highest hopes, because um, usually this stuff is complicated for a reason, and often they do this for, to allow booting and whatever, something, um, mitigation, security mitigations, and fun stuff, but um, config if we here, um, at least it is, and let's actually, we can, you know what, why not grab here, actually I have archived here the old one, not yet deleted build, musel, let's check the old one, should be that, and yeah, if he was, should be loadable, I would think, I guess, and um, probably not the worst idea, I think there was a bug with Samsung and other laptops a couple of years ago, that just loading this module messed up the EFI variables and that could even result in your Samsung uh, ultra thin and light stuff from five years ago or seven years not booting anymore. It's of course hilarious that 2015 and you can mess up your or break your ultra thin and light PC stuff with just loading an EFI variable um, module thing of your favorite monolithic kernel. Anyway, yeah, there's always something to do. So recurring theme 
um, the last 20 years. It's also my fault. Why do I even try this ex experimental stuff? Um, yeah, now we have quite some stuff to sort here. Probably should be careful not to accidentally wipe this. That is always a dangerous thing. Um, but um, yeah, that's what it is. I probably should not use this VM for path through stuff as this is funny. I just removed here trailing white space. I probably reverse this. I usually don't like committing trailing white space changes like that. Um, yeah, the, the benefit of this LTO was it worked for GCC and um, GCC and LVM. Actually, I could also for, you know what, I let here run uh, just for the fun of it and we have LTO enabled, right? Config, we probably build most of the stuff now with LTO, muso, config, LTO. I think I turned that on, right? Yeah, LTO is on. Um, we can also probably double check this with Yeah, LTO thin should have had an effect. Let's rebuild ceiling just for the fun of it. I'm curious, um, or should we, you know, this is the wrong order. <laughs> um, I will cancel this now. Um, let's build LLVM first. I'm curious how long the thin LTO takes because with regular LTO it took at least for ceiling, not really sure about LLVM, but ceiling LTO to one hour. And no, and this is not the whole package build. So the whole package build in 10 minutes maybe. And then it LTO'd for the processes. So I had multiple processes running um, and the, the like um, LLD, the, the LLD, the, the LV, LLVM linker. And I have had multiple. So at the end I had like, there are like eight or so binaries generated and generating each binary took one hour. So all of the, 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 and the total compute time was of course multiple hours, right? Because of, in total it built like one hour 20 or one hour 30. But because there were like eight or so running processes, I had eight, eight time LLD running and the total runtime of all of them at the end were like 62 minutes or so just, just one hour. It's, it's hilarious. Code size. Um, while we've crop legacy in what? I haven't seen crop in years. So it, uh, sure, it isn't already. What? Yeah, it is. It is legacy, but we still have a very fine package. Um, um, yeah, like like our amazing distribution. I will probably also just keep it around because why not? Um, yeah, hope uh, you really enjoyed this and learned something. You see, this is building now. Also curious. Maybe I will. Um, oh no, I won't. But. Yeah, would, would actually be interesting to see how, because previously I have not LTO'd LLVM ceiling because the live stream today was already too long and I had manually disabled this, if you remember, this VI there. And it would actually be interesting to know if LLVM ceiling actually become faster with LTO or if it's just total waste of CPU cycles. But that's the story for another video to come. Hope you learned something and enjoyed this and have a good Sunday and uh, see you soon for the next amazing stuff. And probably, but leave me in the comments below as per usual, some people already, well, not only some people unsubscribe, but some people commented those videos are too long. I understand, but I need to do the work anyway. Um, maybe we need to get more back to re pre-recording more AAA kind of 15 minute vlog summaries that might be more amazing for more attracting 10 if not 100,000 viewers. That's it for today, at least unless I later feel like live streaming again. And I hope to see you soon for that stuff to come.